watching a grown man eat a Lunchable is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Oh, I'm going to tell you right now, uh -huh. I'm not opposed to a Lunchable. I'm in. Are you insane? I am insane. Which Lunchable? Now, if you the, say the pizza Lunchable. The pizza one is so good. It is. No, it's, it's the not. best one. Yeah, it Ooh, the pizza man, one is good. You can go get a slice. The you pizza one tastes like cold wind. No, you're absolutely out no, of your mind. The pizza one I'm is delicious. I'm leaving immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset right now. You have cool, nothing that's to the episode. Let's start there. Yeah, I have nothing to promote, you which is actually life to promote. kind of yeah. nice. I just wrapped tour, and I don't know when the special, the second special is coming out. We haven't gotten the date yet. Did so. you already shoot it? Yeah, shot Beautiful. It. Is, it going to the, is it going to the same platform the first one um, was? I think so. They get, the, they get the first, first look, they get the first little bite. So, Isn't that uh, fun? Yeah. First little peek they at it? They get the first little, yeah, little, what, I don't know what that was. They, you were oh, fingering a ghost. It. I fingered it. Yeah, he <laughs> fingered the special, yeah. They I was going the behind the curtain, but you could be yeah. fingering the special They fingered the, the special. So they get to peek in there first, and then, yeah. I don't know how any of this shit in this business Nobody works. Nobody does. That's I just show thing. up, I do my thing, I tap dance for the Lord, and then I I get the fuck out, and I go to my country club. You know what I mean? That's That's, great. that's what I do. Oh, is, is, that like, is that your Saturday off? Yeah, what's a weekend look like when you're not mm. on the road? Oh, I haven't had one of those in a minute. Um, but yeah, I, I'll but probably- But it's coming up. Yeah, it's, it's coming up. What I'll are probably, we thinking? Hamptons, I'm probably gonna play, no. Connecticut? Can you, I'll tell you what, right now. I'm not go. a Hamptons girl. We did Ooh. the Hamptons last year. Okay. I, I treated myself, I played Radio City last year, and then I was like, all right, we ran into house in the Hamptons afterwards, celebrate. It was fucking cold. I hated every second of it. And then like you couldn't Isn't get into funny? Surf Lodge. I'm like fighting with like 23 year old influencers to get into Surf Lodge. I'm like, I'm fucking over this. Yeah. We were at you go, Surf Bitch, I'll finger you. Get me in. Yeah, literally get me in. Well, I knew I, this was not my place because we were at Surf Lodge. I was going to smoke a cigarette. I'm having, you know, some oh, drinks. Have, there you I go. Love yeah. Oh, I, I love a heater. Oh, so yes. I'm going to rip a heater yeah, and literally. Menthol? Menthol? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, not okay. Menthol. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm on yeah, that. Yeah, hey, come I went for it. I went for it. How dare you? You. Swing it a man. I am a Southern Belle. <laughs> How fucking dare you? <laughs> What's your cigarette of choice? Um, honestly, well, I used okay. to love a P Funk. You know what I mean? Parliament? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Not anymore. I'll go with like an that American spirit. That was a big spirit. guess on my end, by the way. Yeah. You said P Funk, and I was like, please be Parliament. Yeah, I, I yes, thought, yes. dude, I, I, I respected that because you took a swing, and I was like, there's no way he knows yeah. what that is. I love it. No, okay. I, I love, and you're from the South, right? So yeah. it's like, I, I love the South culture. It blows my mind. It's so fascinating. I mean, I went to the University of Mississippi. If you don't think oh. I was on Adderall's drinking Bud Heavies, smoking P Funks, and like a seersucker dress with a string of pearls on, then you must not know. Oh, I want to do that today. <laughs> I know. It's what honest, the fuck am I wearing? In an ox says out socks for it. Was that even a sentence? That, that was not sentence. a sentence. In and out socks. <laughs> I need Adderall. Mm -hmm. Adderall's great. It's Adderall's, just, Adderall's Adderall a personal is, trainer for your brain. I just went to the Masters and bought a bunch of merch at the Masters for great. one of my mom's friends. And great. as a thank you, she gave me a full bag of Ritalin. And I was like, <laughs> she's like in her 60s. And I think she took it from her son. And I was like, this is fantastic. Just a Ziploc bag? Yeah, and I didn't know what it was. Like, I literally was Googling the other night, like, what the oh, bills the were. Numbers? She's Isn't like, you just figured, game? like, have fun. And I was like, okay, That's thank like you, That's like a drug Cheryl. addict's bingo right there. You're like, yeah. okay, I got A44. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, but, yeah. Parliament, Snow, uh, yeah. Snow Lodge. Outside, yeah, what's yeah it Snow Lodge, Surf Lodge. Surf Lodge. Surf. But I was there and I knew it was time to go because, you know, all these like younger kids, they're all just hitting the vape. So they only, uh, no, only know oh, yeah. come on. They plug it in. Get canceled like an adult. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. If you don't smell like neglect, <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want yeah. it. This girl, young girl looks at me like bright eyed and bushy tail and she's like, wait a minute, how are you going to light that? No. And I said, what do you mean? And we, cause we were looking around looking for matches at Surf Lodge and we're like, with a match? And she was like, I, like her brain could not compute that you don't plug something in. She could not figure out that I was about to start fire. And I literally like, like ripped a match. I was like, yeah. we gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, <laughs> no. I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I feel like that's, you know how there's all those things on the internet. I was like, give it Gen Z. How would you take a photo? And they all do like, you know, iPhone like this or whatever. Uh -huh. I wonder if you're like, light a match. Would they just be like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know how to do it. I don't know how to. <laughs> Well, vape, Jewel. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing more struggling than like, I like a cigar on a golf course. I love a cigar. But with oh. a match? Yeah, in it's, the wind? it's impossible. Yeah, forget I it. I mean, put me on an episode of Survivor. I'm out here <laughs> just like, whatever the- Put me I'm, on an I'm episode of, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do a game show. Dude, I don't yeah. know what age you have to hit to really enjoy a cigar. I went from not giving a fuck about cigars mm -hmm. to like, yearn, like yearning. Like yeah. you finish a weekend, I go, give me one. Are I'll you in your 30s? One, yeah. Oh, hell I'll smoke yeah. one yeah. in- like in the hotel mm -hmm. by myself. That's how I am with wine. I was always a wine connoisseur. Like I was never a cheap Pinot Grigio gal. Yeah, yeah. Not even in the in the Miss Missouri days. Uh, miss in the Mississippi days. Yeah. Mississippi, how dare sorry. you? Okay. So, wrong Mississippi fight him, fight him. and Missouri sorry, are way different. Missouri, Mississippi, <laughs> Miss. 
Mississippi. Too many yeses. Yeah. MIS is a BBI. I mean, yeah, of That's course I drank cheap shit in college, but I mean, I, but now I'm like, I have to take a Benadryl after I have two glasses of red wine or I like will have a sleepless night. Like that's where I'm at. Yeah. Today my leg is numb because I have sciatica and I just can't feel. What is sciatica? Yes, I've been hearing you. it. Sciatica. I have a pinched nerve. And so like your piriformis is like right at the tip. The what? Like, piriformis? The piriformis. That's my daughter's name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Um, do I, I have a piriformis? You do. So Ooh. it's like a little, a little nerve or uh, a little, what is it? A nerve, a muscle? I don't know. Your piriformis pinches your, this nerve. And so I have a dead leg. Like literally can't feel, my, can't feel it. No, I'm going to chiropractor, emergency chiropractor. Like Mr. Deeds, the Blackfoot thing. Yes. hundred percent. Toes are, toes are tingling. Oh, I'll tell you what's not little that rock. That's a oh. rock and a half. <laughs> that's a Southern wedding ring right what there. What happened? But it's, I, I'm married to a New York Italian. So that's wow. what that is. Uh -huh. Okay. And how did you guys meet? We met actually in a gay bar in New York city. Straight. Hold I always on. think that works, and apparently it does. It does. It does. Are you kidding what me? What are we doing here? My husband walked know. in Let's the bar. Let's go to WeHo. You should. You should go to WeHo. That's where I live. Yeah. I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you go into the one of the gay bars, and if you just like go up to a girl and you're like semi normal, they'll literally like blow you in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be right back. Yeah. I gotta try yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my question is that is I think I would be in there, and I think I would be more like are gay men paying it. Attention to me. Mm, am I, I bombing you. right now? Yeah. What, what am I? Am I? Am, am I a gay seven? What's happening? But see, that's the problem. You got to get rid of that ego. You got to go in there, and it's not about you. It's not about whether they're giving Ooh, you attention. If you're looking go. for love, you gotta. You gotta make it about the gas. You know what I love about you, and I've been and mm -hmm. following you for. I th I, it's what, we're one of those people. We've just yeah. followed each other on Instagram for a while. I love all your shit. Thank you so yes. much. I love your stuff. And I was watching something recently. And I'm like, she's just got it figured out. Your point of view. You're like, this yeah. is who I am. I wake up. I'm that bitch. I'll throw a <laughs> frappuccino in a teenager's face. <laughs> And, and like, I do that on the reg. Good. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck stuff. I think we're boycotting stuff. I don't they even are. know. But like, where does that come from? <laughs> Did, have you always just been that bitch? Were you I, always just throwing back Franzi and punching substitute teachers in the <laughs> face? <laughs> the funny thing is I go hard, uh, like in all like business aspects of my life, but I'm literally like the chillest person on the fucking planet. Oh, so I you am. turn it on? No, I, it's not that I turn it on. I've just always been a confident bitch, but growing yeah. up, there are plenty of moments that I should have been humbled. Like I was that chubby kid in elementary in the fourth grade. who was in okay. the talent show singing Celine Dion, just like going yeah. hard Your in the Your heart will paint. go on. Not that yeah, right yeah, exactly. it might stop. <laughs> and I look back and I was like why did nobody in my family be like the look isn't fitting and the the voice was not there how many brothers you know? sisters I just have an older sister okay okay she's single she's hot She's 40 and very hot, like very cute. Ooh. Yeah. She attorney, smoked darts? Uh, she, she, yeah. We, I mean, we're only, attorney we're only vacation sig gals. So I just want everybody to know. People Ooh, think I was, okay. but I, like if I'm on the Amalfi Coast, I'm having a vacation sig. It's not yeah. a day-to-day -day thing. You what know? about if you're in like Tarzana? Oh, Valley. if I'm on Tarzana and I've just been to like an Applebee's, <laughs> I'm having a vacation you, you have sig. To. You have to. Yeah, you have to. So when you, do you, this is a stupid question. Yeah. Do you inhale thus, are you like addicted to, cat, to, to nicotine or not? No? Not even in, I, I really? have maybe three cigarettes a year. It's okay. just my little oh. treats. Oh, yeah. That's but if good. I'm at a party, like a quarterly sig. I have a quarterly sig. Like I have like a Q3 sig. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. You look at your ticket sales from Q2 yeah. and you ask how you go. <laughs> good Let's times. Go. Can't wait to, to get Q3. back to Baltimore. <laughs> God. Well, I think it's just a relaxing. It, it, smoking is associated with sitting in my head. So you're mm -hmm. like, oh, I could sit in this chair, and then you just. There's a cigar bar my my place where we've just yeah, sat yeah. there and you look around and it's just all guys just yapping away. See, guys go to nothing. cigar bars and women go to salons. It's the same equivalent. Whoa. But, can, but yeah. can you smoke in a salon? You can, but you're around so much heat that and you're the, on fire. All the fumes, yeah, all of the, fumes, the nail polish the remover. Spray, it's you're just a as high. deadly. Dude, I dyed my hair and I went to obviously a salon to mm -hmm. do it and I felt gabby. Yeah, I felt what is that with the yeah. with the thing with the with whatever the, the heat, and I was like, "Who wants the to gab? Yeah. <laughs> Someone gab with me." What's the goss? Yeah, yeah. You just, What's J Lo up to these days? It's a safe space. You're getting into everyone's bullshit. Yeah. Oh, I love wow. it. Is it, be, well, is it because you're just forced to sit there? So mm -hmm. you, like, what else are you supposed to do? The lighting makes you want to talk too. That's what, what I'm saying. Well, the lighting is also so terrible. Like, you've never looked like more surgical. unattractive than yeah, yeah. when you have yeah, foils ortho, on. Orthodontist lighting. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, H and M yeah. dressing room lighting. Yes. It's really bad. That's so interesting. I didn't even think about it, but. That really is. It's like a cigar bar is a salon uh -huh. for women. My husband's a huge cigar connoisseur. Ooh. Like he travels everywhere. We gotta like get secure the cigars, and it's a lot. What it's does he lot. do? Um, well, that's a great question. Oh, <laughs> no. okay. He's in real estate. He does real estate investments. That's, so, that's mob ties. Yeah, a little bit. We okay. own a lot of like <laughs> random like townhomes across America. 
That's great. Yeah. Because yeah, you got to hide the body somewhere. We sure do. And he's Italian. So that's what I'm going. <laughs> yeah. He was in construction and real estate development in New York. And then we came down south. So now we live in Atlanta. He plays golf pretty much full time. That's great. Preparing to be on the senior tour. Um, and and he does real estate. And I don't know. And he moves money around. And I don't ask questions. I should. And then I just Isn't tap dance across America great. and shake my tits for cash. I mean, this sounds like yeah. a perfect. Oh. I mean, yeah. This sounds like a perfect relationship. It really I mean, kind that of is. is love at its God. finest. Yeah. You do you. I do me. Mm -hmm. We meet every once in a while yeah. and share a match. Make each yeah. other come and then fucking go, to, go play golf. Go rip a heater and talk about where the money's coming from. Hey, exactly. where's it coming from? I don't know. And Beautiful. we play golf together. So I play golf oh, growing play golf? up. So I'm a golfer and now yes. I have a new oh, goal because great. my husband's obviously had all this leisure time to hang out at our country club while I'm actually out there working and slaying dragons. So I said- Yeah, men need to step it up these days. Men need to step yeah. it up. So we have a little bet going on. Um, I have the summer off from touring. So I said, I'm Beautiful. going to get really good again. I've hired yeah. like two coaches. Oh, and shit. if I beat him, um, I have like six months to beat him and if I beat him in 18 holes then he has to give it up I said for a year I'm not actually gonna give do up that golf? give up golf he's obsessed you understand we're building a simulator in our house uh, he has oh. like six coaches like he's one of those like no. jerks off to Tiger Woods and is he good not great <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what's funny all my friends who spend thousands of dollars on yeah. clubs I'm I'm 31 so like yeah. all my friends are like they're like scrambling like what do I do in life uh -huh. in my career you know all my friends are working in corporate like they just went full 180 mm -hmm. To golf. He's very athletic and so he has a beautiful swing, but his coach, so I work with his coach now, and his coach was like, I think he's been taking too many lessons. I'm like, what do you mean? Over, I'm like, you're overcorrected. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I think he's he's like a little autistic about it, a little rain man uh -huh. about it. Like he's doing so much mm -hmm. studying that it's not helping him. Yeah, like the, point the, of diminishing return. You, yes. Like you you put so much into it, you have like 19 swing thoughts. You're like, it's not gonna go yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. Is he but doing the, everything with like a little scoper in the oh, eye? Dude, he's got the scope, he's got the the sticks, he's it. got the tools, all of it. And I just get out there and I just rip it. So, Damn, uh -huh. dude, all this to do, have a 38 handicap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Trevor Walls comedy, Trevor Walls tour kicking off next week, San Francisco. I think there's two shows that aren't sold out out of the five. Let's go. May 17th through May 19th. Tech nerds, get on that fucking bird and rip a goddamn all bird. I'll see you there. Salt Lake City, we just added a sixth show. Yeah, you did. May 30th through June 1st, <laughs> Miami, Florida. You know, you guys are too coked out to give a fuck. <laughs> Go look up your own goddamn tour dates. Site June 21st to the 23rd. I'll see you guys there. You heard of F1. This is going to be F2. Sacramento, June 28th <laughs> through June 30th. Portland, Oregon, July 25th through the 27th. Your sixth show added in Portland, <laughs> Lexington, Kentucky, August. Uh, Nashville also in August, Tampa, Florida, September 20th through 22nd, Tempe, Arizona in October, and then a theater tour early 2025, but who gives a fuck until then? Michael Blaustein. Stand up comedy, how about a feed? Michael Blaustein, May 30th to June 1st, I'll be in freaking Austin, those tickets are Ma, ma, moving. Morongo Casino. Morongo Casino, August 2nd. Those tickets are going. August 9th, New York City. Makeup date. Go grab tickets. There's a little few left. Cool sentence, Michael. August 23rd. <laughs> August 23rd. Gary, Indiana. August 18th, I'll be in Glasgow. That's right, dude. Glasgow, uh -huh. UK. September 19th, I'll be in Dublin. God damn, I'm excited about these shows. September 20th, I'll be in London. Hello! September 21st, <laughs> Belfast. And then September 22nd, I'll be in Manchester. And then September 27th to the 29th, Miami. They don't Co buy tickets. Kane. Yeah, they don't. October 11th to the 13th, I'll be in Irvine. That is a new date. Irvine, October 11th to the 13th. Um, and that is it. Many, many more dates on our mother effing calendar. Go get tickets. Blockcomedy.com. That's blockcomedy.com. If you want someone to chew on your... Say Ooh, it. Uh -huh. Get that blue chew. I'm sick of it. I'm sick not having a fucking full ass hard cock. That's why I love goddamn blue chew. Y'all roaming out here fucking 70% hard? Stupid. What blue you, chew is unique online service that delivers the same active ingredient at Viagra, Cialis, and Lovitra, but an Bless you. tablet. Dude, thank you. But an chewable tablet at the fraction, fraction of the freaking cost. cost, dude. You know what? I love this because you don't got to freaking time it, dude. You, you don't got to be like, oh, day. oh, I'm fitting to get some. P-U-S-S-Y, let me throw it in there. No, no, just take it when you think you might, and then yeah. you're on, you're on to the next one. And you don't go to CVS, Oh, because it, it delivers right to your freaking You ain't got to go wait, there's some pharmacy and the guy's no. yelling back there, we got the cock pills for <laughs> Wallace. Cock pills, are, eh, they're not ready yet, they're going to wait for five minutes, but did you want your flu shot? I'm trying to fuck! <laughs> Blue Chew, 
Dude, it's literally, it tastes, it's like, it's good. You chew it and you do it. And Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex, dude. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Blue Chew, let me tell you something, dude. Try it. Blue Chew free. When? Use our promo code SOCKS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That is BlueChew.com. Promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. F-R-E free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this Mother freaking podcast. <laughs> the simulator, I'm so jealous. That's yeah. the one mm-hmm. thing. No, no, no. But uh, that's the one thing that I, if someone was like, hey, if you build a house, what are you going to put in your oh, house? The, oh, yeah, I would simulator. do simulator over bedroom. Yeah. Like, I uh, fuck. We're about dude. there. God, yeah. really? Damn it. Yeah, we live right next door to our country club. So when I hear that tick Isn't... all day long in the garage where he wants to build like a pool yeah, house yeah, and, yeah. and build the simulator, I just hear that fucking net getting hit all day while I'm downstairs like in my office recording a podcast or like <laughs> somehow grinding <laughs> out money for work. us and I just lose my shit. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. You live right on the course? Uh, we're like right next door. Yeah. Oh God, mm-hmm. so nice. That yeah. is beautiful. But this is like, I moved into my childhood home. So literally my what? husband and I were living in New York during the pandemic um, and, and my mom was like, what am I going to do with this house, we're like, we'll take it. Yeah. So we live with my mom. My mom lives with us. I don't. However, you want to slice Whatever. it. Yeah, yeah. It's like three's company. Yeah, oh my but God. That's, uh-huh. dude, that's so beautiful. Though. It is a beautiful thing. My dad died, so I'm glad that like we, you know, can keep an eye on that my is mom. Very beautiful. But my mom's also like 76, but like a hot yeah, 40 her, year old. Yeah, put yeah. her to work. Yeah, put her to work. She's got energy. Start editing She's reels. Hot. All right, yeah. get yeah, it yeah. together. <laughs> oh my God. Subtitles. We had to shut her down because she would get. Uh, somehow I like left my iPad at home. And I would be on tour and she would get on my Instagram oh, sure. and do Instagram lives. You know what? On your account? On my, that's oh, really yes. funny though. Because that's where but, all the followers are. Oh my God. So people would be like, from my team, are like, abort, abort. I'm like, and they're like, your mom's on Instagram live. I'm like, I don't know how to shut it down. I'm in Kentucky right now. Oh what do you want God. me to do? This is kind of yeah. funny. This just yeah. happened to me yesterday. My mom, both my parents are retired. My mm-hmm. mom's always loved food culture. She used to be a fur- food journalist. Oh, hell yeah. And she's, her whole lifelong goal is to make a cookbook, right? Good for her beautiful. So she's been working on it. But every cookbook agent she's like talking to now is like, you need more social following. You need more social following. So last time I was home, I was like, yeah, I'll shoot a video for you. Right. She would show me a recipe. I do it. I edit it. I make it fun. I was staying at home for the weekend. I put some time into it, a couple hours and I loved it. And I was like, here you go. And then yesterday she just sends me, I get an email. She goes, Hey, just send you an email. There's a video. And she gives me like a list of notes for this. (laughs) I'm like, you think I got time to edit this? I don't have time for your notes and tell you whoever your shitty social media manager is. (laughs) She doesn't have that. I mean, like getting video notes. I was like, mom, I barely have time to do my own videos. I have a yeah. full time video guy that I pay. I, I am running my mom's art empire. My mom is an incredible painter. Yeah, like, yeah. And, and what pisses me off too, and, and you know, like uh, kudos to your mom. There's nothing more annoying that when you have a parent that's older, especially as a woman, like they're like, oh, it's her hobby. I'm like, no, no, no. My mom is an incredible artist. Yeah, your yeah. mom's incredible in the food space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 let's give them uh, a credit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, I will edit that video today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have a full she, dude, she, gave, yeah. she gave you birth. You had, she like, gave, you had no. To. It's just funny because I'm so used to giving all my editors like notes. Yeah, and then I get the notes. I'm How like, dare you? I don't get notes. <laughs> I had nobody to, gives me notes. I've had to go to some of these art festivals and literally sell my mom's art. Like I'm, she, she's like, yeah, the, the fans want to see you. So I'm oh, out there so selling these paintings for my mom, and I'm really like, I don't have a, like, <laughs> I gotta go to like Cincinnati tonight and do a show. We gotta wrap this up. Yeah, but you know what? Good for your mom. What type, shake them what, down. Shake them down. What type of stuff yeah. does she paint? Uh, really cool, abstract, huge pieces. I need a huge art. piece of my home. Oh, Dude, I'll, well, can we, I'll get you yeah, a deal. Yeah, I actually, Please. Yeah, yeah, her stuff's great. The Red Contemporary. My mom's hot. She's 76, redhead, and perky titties, like a hot babe. And if there are any- Some PTs? P, yeah. That's a PT cruiser yeah, right there. she got Dude, some PTs. I'm trying to rip a PT. Yeah, she's got. She's really hot. She's single. She likes younger guys. My dad's been pa- um, deceased now for almost 10 years. She's looking for a new boyfriend. So if there's anybody listening, you have to have money though. Because Robin's not, she's not looking for love. She's looking for fun. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you ever watch any Golden Bachelor stuff? Okay, so they approached, everybody wanted my mom to be the first Bachelorette. Because yes. my mom's yes. iconic. She's very much like, yeah, everybody her knows her. On. Here's the thing, huge liability. My career will be over tomorrow. Oh, no. Okay, there's nothing you, she's 76 from Boston. Back oh. in the can, have it, yeah. It'd be a huge liability. I was like, I've worked too fucking hard to then just watch my mom like date on national television and her say something insane. I know, but oh, don't, but don't yeah. you want to see it though? 
I do. Yeah. I do. But I don't trust. I don't I don't trust. Do you still have your me. last name or mm -hmm. do you take your husband's? I kept my last name. Okay, cool. Yeah. Was that a that conversation? Um, Jeff's great. My husband's great. He's not intimidated by anything I do. He's just great. like, fucking go for it. But my dad on his deathbed was like, he's like, never change your last name. You're always a McMahon. So I said, it I'm always a McMahon. It is a McMahon. great last name. It yeah. Is. It, and does your husband have a powerful last name? Well, his name's Jeff Daniels, like the actor from no, the newsroom. No, it's not. It's literally, I married two Jeff Daniels. So when I call for like dinner that's reservations tough. in New York, I use oh, his name. Great. My name carries no weight. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I thought, are you kidding me? No. Hi, no. is this Surf Lodge, the yeah. heater girl? <laughs> <laughs> Heather McHeaters? <laughs> Heather McHeaters, for sure. Yeah. So, um, but also like my in-laws hate me. So Why? I was also like, I'm not taking your last name. What? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's layered. It's layered. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. It's what are, what are you going to do? But I always said I, when we have kids, I'm not going to make them have some weird like joint GPS, name. Hyphenated. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. McMahon, Daniels, they're Daniels. That's it. I never knew what that was when I was growing up. I always thought it was cool when a guy on his football jersey had two last names. Yeah. And then you just realized the parents were just. Couldn't figure it <laughs> yeah. out. Like if couldn't you, if you can't anything. decide on a last name, uh -huh. it's not going to go well in the relationship. Yeah, I agree. Is, is that a also, hot who, take? Also, who goes first? But that's what also a conversation. What name goes first? Alphabetical. Right. You fight. I think you fight. But, all, but I always thought it was like, the woman's last name went first. But again, that's me living in 1940. I don't know. I don't know. Dude. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think for your bet, maybe instead of him taking off a year, uh -huh. it should be he either has to play from the red tees or the one yeah. be before it. Yeah, yeah. Just in, you know, just, just, just make, emasculate him just a little yes, bit. Yes, Well, I not said enough. a year just because I thought it would really, like, get him revved up. Okay. But then I realized I'd have to be living with, with him, him for a, a year. miserable fuck. Yeah. So now I'm only like, you can't do it for a month. But he, he can't watch— your your caddy for he you. He always already wants to be my That's caddy. Oh. oh, you know what I mean. That's hot for him. He likes that we get to play really? golf again. I'm playing Riviera for this. Like, are you doing that Monday? Jesus. I'm doing it. I'm doing yeah. it. Oh, I'm doing it yeah. too. It's like all. It's the for the Netflix festival. Uh. But they literally will not let you bring any plus one. So Jeff like has called my like agents a million times. Like, what do you mean I can't be at Riviera? I just want to like smell the grass. Is he? <laughs> is he like literally just me? Yes. That sounded like your best travel yeah. person. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't. Jeff's know. actually kind of Italian and talks like this, but then he turns into like a frat guy. It's just so. Oh, bizarre. I love it. Oh yeah. yeah, any guy with a simulator in the garage, mm -hmm. you can tell where's he. Where he? I feel like he doesn't even tee it up. He just puts a Keystone light down and yeah. rips it off. There, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, Riviera. Is, I, apparently, I. I didn't, I'm oblivious to most it's things in life. No, it's, it's really nice. your favorite yeah, course, yeah. apparently. Yeah. And I'm going to be playing that, just shanking off to PCH. Oh. Ball uh, into a you, house you, I can't afford. Do you guys know who, you, uh, who you're playing with? No. No, but uh, I saw the roster. It's like everybody who's anybody. It's I guarantee like, it'll be all the women. They're like, we're going to let the yeah. women <laughs> one cart. Play yeah, one yeah. cart. There's 25 women yeah, on yeah. one cart, and we'll have to tee off last because we don't want to slow anybody down. I know how this shit goes. Then some CEO is going to walk by and be like, yeah. you guys got Budweiser. Oh, you're not the cart girl? All right. <laughs> Dude, my hometown yeah. uh, a golf course, course. Mm -hmm. they don't have a golf, like the cart girl thing anymore. Uh -huh. Now it's just a regular cart with a trailer on the back. Oh, that's With sad. a cooler. It's so, so sad. So you get no titties no. at the turn. No titties oh, at the turn. So you might sorry. get You might get one that's like dragging around, but like, <laughs> but it's just the cart aspect. It's a regular, like I love the snack cart on golf course. It has a different sound. Yeah. It's got the little frills up top. It's well, got it's the, an the adult season, ice cream truck. Oh. You hear it. You know what I mean? You hear wow, ding, 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 ding coming around the yeah. corner and you're like, here comes Mandy. And, and Mandy's got big titties yeah. and she's pouring you Sunburn. I yes, sunburn. A little bit of a stench. Yeah, and she's making you a transfusion. Have you ever read a transfusion? I've heard no. of that. What is that? It's, okay. it's like it energy is drink? It's, I think it's a. It's definitely an energy drink. <laughs> it is um, grape juice, uh, ginger ale, vodka with lime. It is like the quintessential wow. Southern golf course drink. If you have two transfusions, you are face down, ass up in a sand trap on 16 and cannot make it out. I never even yeah. heard. I went to college in the South, played golf. At you, school, uh, where, co Coastal Carolina. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. But I never heard of a transfusion. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know why people that. talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Can last we, time I was playing, everyone was getting geeked off ranch waters. Oh, the hell is that? Ranch water. Tequila and... Tequila, club soda, and fresh lime. That's Anytime all Anytime I hear ranch, all I think of is Hidden Valley. You know Hidden Valley has merch? I got a DM from Hidden Valley's Instagram. They go, hey, we'd love to send you some merch. Why? Why does Hidden Valley have merch? I would wear Hidden Valley I'll tell Valley you why Hidden Valley has merch. Because <laughs> it's a wear. far superior product. I always thought if I went on The Amazing Race and like you could bring like one thing to get you like your one creature comfort, it'd be Hidden Valley. I could do anything uh, Listen, I love ranch, but it's like, does everybody in the world need a merch drop? I, does I, I everybody, will agree with that. Does Twix need a merch drop? But Honestly, I would wear it. But does Vagisil need merch? They 
They yes. sure do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Vagisil, quick business bitch. I would wear something that said like One dry, itchy pussy all, all day. Yes, mm. I agree. Does it say dry, itchy pussy? It does not. But okay. the, the gals, it should. The gals who know are the gals who know. You know, that's <laughs> yeah. all you need to know. For me, it's like if they just sent me a PR package and it showed up to my house, I, fuck yeah, I'd wear yeah. it. But it's like when I'm just DMing back like, oh, thank you. I'm looking at the website. Yeah. I'll take a large in the ranch <laughs> beach towel. Like, then it's just like, like what's happening? Zyrtec and Floney's like, don't need merch. Like, everybody Shit, pump no. the brakes. Dude, I, I have board shorts that are made by a peanut butter whiskey brand. I'm like, what is happening? Why? Why do I have s shorts yeah. for this moment yeah. right here where I plug them on my podcast? Yeah, her. Bleep them out, Gabe. What is that? KFC sunscreen? Yeah. No. Good. Oh, yeah. so you can sizzle there like fried is, chicken. Yeah. yeah. Is that what it... Mm. Hold on. It smells like chicken. Well, also, no, their, their demographic, though, is like southern white people. So, of course, they need sunscreen. This is smart. You go get your mashed potatoes, you get your coleslaw, and yeah. then you're like, What's I'm going to go sit at Talladega and I'm going to need a sunscreen. Does it smell like chicken? I mean, Probably. It, it says so, yeah. Oh, Buddy, yeah. I mean, yeah. you're going to put on, get attacked by bumblebees. What's Dude, my happen? cat would not stop licking me if I were no. <laughs> My question for you, as a southern belle, yes. what's your Waffle House go-to order? Okay. All right, let's go for it. Now, this is going to... Oh, fuck. Parliament, number one. Par <laughs> Parliament eater in the, in the parking lot. Um, all right, dude, I am going to get so much shit for this. So... I'm not a huge Waffle House person. Oh. No, 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 hear me out, hear me out. I love Waffle House. I like to go. But my dad died. At, when, when my dad died, he went to Waffle House every single day. Waffle House is a little triggering for me. Oh, at I the booth you. where okay. my dad used to sit at Waffle House, yeah. they have a plaque oh. because that's how like revered and loved he was at oh, the, our beautiful. local Waffle House. That's his his um, headstone says scattered, covered, and smothered because that's where he spread his ashes. So Waffle House, I love, but it's also a little triggering for me. I you hear know you. What I, mean? I only, I go there like on his birthday. Um, and awesome. Yeah, Man, it's, I'll tear up right now. Yeah, it's yeah. I'll tear up in the valley at 10 a.m. Yeah. That's gorgeous. I knew somebody else's dad probably has a plaque at like a Chili's or a TGI Friday's. So the, yeah. the Waffle House is mine. But my order on is- On the bottom of the fajita plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Greg. lava cake. <laughs> yeah. um, my order is hash browns, um, scattered covered, and then I'll just do like an egg, a scrambled egg. Here's the thing. I don't really like American cheese. I don't like American cheese. It's either. my biggest fear. Like it keeps me up at night. Does it melt great? No, it doesn't. It doesn't taste it, great. It no, it doesn't like taste great. And they slide. only use American cheese, so that's also my thing. I'm very particular. Yeah, why why did America Jack? pick that cheese? It's got to be cheap to make. Yeah, it's not I, cheese. It's made out it's of the, the foam yeah, yeah. in the side of your mattress. Like I'm not afraid of getting attacked. I'm not afraid of like a home burglary. I am afraid if you were to take a craft singles and put them underneath my pillow, and I were to touch one at night right before I was about to fall asleep, I'd burn the house down. Dude, I was that weird kid that would eat craft singles out the fridge as a child. Well, I did too, and did then too. someday it just fucking changed. I don't know what happened, and I just can't smell them. Like if I go I to a, a bodega, I'm like bacon, egg, and cheese, Swiss. Like I have to Ooh, say Swiss because yeah. I don't even say cheddar because half the time but when the Swiss guys are. Like the missionary they think of it's cheese. American. It doesn't yeah, do yeah. anything. It's just hanging out. Yeah, but you still get a little bit of that nutty, salty taste. Okay. Are you a Swiss lady? I'll do any cheese except American. Except American. Or like nacho ballpark cheese. I don't oh, fuck with fake. Can I yeah. say some what? I don't like cheddar cheese. I I What just, do you mean? I don't I don't like it. What about shredded on a taco? Fine. You're off the podcast. But is yeah, it, yeah, but yeah, is it, honestly, but, but cheddar is a, a beautiful natural cheese. But it's got but it's got a little like it's got a little stank to it in my and my taste buds register like a little stank. I'll That's eat what it. Do you like blue a blue cheese? cheese? Blue cheese throws me off. Blue cheese. Oh, is, dude, the stinkier, the like the moldier, yes, the better. Yes, I'm out. I'm really? out. Oh, dude, you hit me with a gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. Yeah. That's crazy. If it's in an olive, I'll do it. But just broad yeah. daylight, that oh, hard a cheese. Chunk of gorg. My dad's <laughs> chiseling away at it like he just Can't. caught this somewhere. I'll fuck it. rock. Jesus Christ, Trevor. But when I stopped liking American cheese, I think it was when I was probably at a barbecue and the cheese was laying out for a little bit. And then you're like, oh, sure, this is melting. You pick it up. Up, and it kind of just feels like a rain boot a little yeah. bit. You're yeah. like, why isn't this melted? What is happening? I uh, and, and like all these like really great restaurants, like, you know, you go and you're like, okay, we've got to go to this one place. It's got the best cheeseburger in the world. And they're always like, and it, it doesn't matter if it's like a three-star Michelin. They're always like, you know, classic American cheese. I'm like, it's ruining the fucking burger. I'm not paying $45 for this fucking burger with a glass of Chianti and I got to fucking deal with American yeah. cheese. And then if you try and go to some of these places and you're like, I don't want the cheese, then it's a whole fucking thing. How do you feel about yeah, places I, that do oh, no substitution? Dude, that oh, fuck wall. you. It, okay, a brunch place, no substitution I get. Brunch no, is fuck the, I've worked well, I worked why? in every hospitality job. Brunch is the hardest shift. It is the hardest shift. Why? Because everyone's shift. hammered and entitled? Yeah, and it's just it's it's a rush. People are getting, you know, that brunch shift is from 10 a.m. to 2 30, and it is balls to the wall. Yeah, and then people are hungover and they're yeah. like, I'll have the 
Yeah. Hurry up. Yeah. yeah. But no, I think, you know, you got to give. You got to give and take a little bit. That's insane to have absolutely zero substitutions. Something. If it's in reason. Yeah. Like if it's already on the burger, instead of a substitution, you should be like, can I minus a tomato? Can I minus a this? Can yeah, I I'm not going to. Maybe you can't add, but le at least let me minus. subtract. Because you're gonna making say, the easy. It's an easier job for the chef. Here's where I'm at. Yeah. I'm paying. Yeah. Do what I want. Also, yeah, oh, shut the, up. The chef doesn't write. Fuck the chef. That, I don't the chef like places, is not me. I'm paying 50 you ever, for Have a you burger. ever worked in a restaurant? Yeah. My okay. whole, my whole yeah. life. I don't yeah. like when they go, you gotta put all the food orders in at once. It's a small kitchen. What the yeah. fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah. What it the means, fuck does that it mean? It means a small kitchen. <laughs> but, 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 but if it's a small kitchen, you think that if you go plate by plate, he has more time and more space. I think that's on the server that the server doesn't want to time it out. Of course. Mm, Fucking it makes time sense. It out. Okay, I, I, I'm not gonna get technical, it. but I worked in a lot of fine dining and it is, I mean, if you've ever had like a tiny little lesbian chef in the back who's like farm to table and you Sounds fear hot. for your life, you don't you don't fuck with her. You know 100%. what I mean? 100%. It's, it, yeah, it's yeah. everything is in, that is like done a in a restaurant is out of fear. You know, yeah, yeah. just sitting there like a pen. Yeah, you, everything's done out of fear. The people are just fighting for their lives. They're Why just trying to survive. Why do chefs love cocaine so much? Because of the you're, hours. But you're, yeah. I mean, maybe after the shift. Yeah. But you're, you're you're making steak. You need to be after the shift. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's what a long twelve-hour shift <laughs> to another twelve. <laughs> but I'm saying, but do you want to like you want to be geeked out? You need. You know I'm saying you need to be geeked out to make a fucking steak. Yeah, you do because why? When when that shift starts, right, and those tickets start rolling in, zzz, 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 that is like you know you're losing your mind. You got to be in the zone. Dude, yeah, you I, gotta be coked out. I started my first one of my first restaurants I was in New York, Spice Market. Do you remember this yes, restaurant? Yes, I love Spice Market. That's Dude, where we were. That huh? was my first restaurant job, and they started. I had so much serving experience, but I didn't have New York experience, so I had to be a food runner. Oh yeah, I remember food running. You have to talk to the chef. You have to get the food from the chef, and obviously mm -hmm. walk to the kitchen. So I am. The chefs are screaming at me. I'm yeah. screaming back. Uh -huh. Then I have to go to the fine dining and be like, hello, madam. Bubba. It was such a dichotomy between who I needed to be. But these chefs, they didn't talk. Well, they also don't respect They're you. They're just, oh, they don't give a fuck about you're the, me. Is oh, I'm a 21-year-old idiot. Uh, the, bus? It's, it's, it's one of them. Yeah, probably busters. But like, and so so let's say I'm a chef. I'm cooking. Like, What's something you say? Like, hey, we need that table three steak or whatever. Yeah. But you'd also like, yeah, you'd, and you'd extract scream, the window yeah, and then, yeah. and you'd yeah, be, But see, I would always go in and I would get like a boyfriend immediately, not in a real relationship, but like I'd have some guy who's like, you know, uh, working the line, like doing all the hot grills. Yeah. He would be like some Dominican guy that have a huge crush on yeah. me. So I get like little treats all night. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd be like, throw me a shrimp skewer. Yes. You know, I knew how to work the system. Of course. And I, I was really good at being in the service industry. Like I thrived. Like yeah. I came to your table, I knew everything on the menu. I knew how to razzle dazzle. I, I, th I really thought people are just made to, and that's why you're an entertainer. Yeah, you know yeah. how to, you know how to work a table. It was you so know, do a little fun. bit of crowd work. Yeah, what are we ordering yeah, tonight? Exactly. Oh yeah, oh Gary's going Clip for it. the shashuka bet. Yeah. Big mistake. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Were you a were you a kneel down by the table Never. person or stand that up? That actually, I, I like to a have big, a authority. Okay. I I, I uh, get on their level. Like, yeah, yeah. hey girl, I love it. I love that we're going with this meze platter. I love that we're going in this Mediterranean direction. But I would never kneel. I would never kneel. I also was a bartender for a really long time. I too. bartended too. Where yeah. did you bartend at? Everywhere. I worked at this in this restaurant group. We had this place called Elsewhere that was on 43rd between 9th and 10th. Okay. Right across from Mario Batali's place called yeah. Esca. And um it and that that was like the fine night. But my first restaurant job in New York was at Stout, which was the yeah. biggest Irish oh. sports bar across from Madison Square Garden. Oh, so wow. like whatever played at Madison Square Garden that night, I was serving those people. It was a Metallica Metallica concert. Oh Jesus. For like two hours, we were just losing our fucking oh, minds. My God. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 So, well, uh, so are you a big foodie or just kind of you enjoy it when oh, it yeah. comes across? Uh, I'm a huge foodie. Favorite New York restaurant and, and most mm. overrated New York restaurant. Oh, Michael shit. and I were out there recently. We ate a burger place at El Cheval. Have you ever yeah. had that? Oh, uh, yeah. And so it was, it was great, but there were no substitution places. But it was one of the best. I tried to do, I pull, I didn't even try and pull a fast one, but I had a friend who knew the owners at El Cheval in Chicago. Yes. I had a show. That was insane. They were like, just go to the, the manager and just let them know, like, such yeah. and such sent you. So I go in there and there's a clearly like a two hour wait. Yeah, it's but insane. I, and I was never trying to like skip the line my friend sure. was like oh the owner said do this so i go to the manager i'm like hey by the way like cindy sent me i got i got dressed down in front of all these people in this restaurant he was like we don't do any favors i you, do you i gotta oh. see a text from them right now like chewed my ass out yeah. i've never been I'm so out. like mortified and i was like all right dude i was not trying to come in here and like yeah. pull a fast one but if you're gonna pull this game that's like i'm not I, fucking dealing that's with that's why this. i never really do this so because the one out of a thousand times mm -hmm. you ever do that that happens mm -hmm. you're like oh, great i'll never do this again and I'll i never, never ask, for, ask favor. for favors i get intimidated to like text somebody to come on my podcast you know yeah. oh like, my God. i don't ever want to inconvenience anybody but yeah i'd 
rather be there and just kind of look lonely in the lobby yeah. and be like, yeah. oh, it's a two hour wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you're leaving. I'm the, a diabetic. Wh- I'm getting a little famished. Yeah, daddy's hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone have any ozempic? I got yeah. the per sibidic, whatever that's in my leg. My yeah. foot don't work. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, I always play the game where like once I'm like seated in, and, and then like maybe a food runner runs up. Hey, love uh-huh. your stuff. Next time you're here, hit me up. You're like, okay, now I got it in for the next time. Yes. But yeah. God, that, that initial like, hey, we're... I was at same place. I was at Dukes in Hawaii a couple years ago. Oh. Fuck them. Yeah. Four, Fuck them. Say it again. Four months wait. Like it's uh-huh. a whole thing. It's you know white people land in Hawaii and they're like, I need yeah. my Dukes <laughs> coconut shrimp and maybe yeah. some eye contact from my wife. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the front and we didn't have a reservation. I go to the front and uh, I mean, I, this is not me boasting, but maybe like six or seven employees working there were like, dude, Trevor, we love your stuff, love your stuff. But the Come lady, in. we would love to hook it up, bro. But I'm at the front desk and these, these people are like, oh, I love you, I love you. Yeah. And the one lady who's running it was that guy. She's yeah. like, nope, don't care. Oh, I don't know who he is. Cute. Don't, don't care. give a fuck. Two hour away. Yeah. Two hour away. Leave your foot. Two hour away. And I'm like, you, yeah. why? Yeah. Why? You give anyone power, it, they love it. Yes. It's very humbling. <laughs> This show is, is sponsored by Better, Better Help. Help. Let me tell you something, dude. I need therapy right freaking now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. I just got some news on my goddamn phone, and I'm freaking fired up. And I will say that therapy actually has helped me because I usually am freaking all fired up and say some wild shit over a goddamn computer screen. But I'm not gonna because I have delved into therapy, and I've literally just, like, built the skill set that I need to handle emotional stuff. And I, I, we're big proponents of therapy on the show, and that's why we love Better Help, dude. And with Better Help, man you don't gotta leave your freaking comfort in your own home dude you can find a licensed therapist online and if you don't vibe with them dude it's a simple process you just drop that one you find another one it's super easy so you can find the therapist that actually works for you and again entirely online dude from the company on home i've taken these calls from my own car me you know i did too yeah Yeah, wherever you want to be you know they're there for you uh it's great man just to Talk it and get it off your chest is really the best. If it sits in your head, it kind of just like for me festers. personally, yeah, festers. Yeah, and yeah. then this big, this this big problem is even bigger. But it was, once was a small problem. Yeah, you just talk it out. Talk it out, man. Talk and with it. with better help, dude, you just have to fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with licensed therapists and switch therapists again at any time for no additional charge. All right, that's why we love better help. So get it off your chest, as Trev said, with better help, dude. Visit betterhelp.com slash socks today and get 10% off your first month. That is better H E L P help.com slash socks. Go find happiness, y'all. But your what was your question about the your favorite New York uh, spots? Oh, New York, favorite, favorite and, New York and most spot. overrated. And the Duke thing was also I just showed up. I didn't I didn't ask to be like yeah you know me no I just yeah. showed up to be like what's the weight and then right. they came out. Mm-hmm. Favorite New York. Okay, there's a hidden gem in Tribeca. It's called Max's. It's one of the best Italian spots Ooh, in the world. Oh, it's it. on 134 West Broadway. I don't have any ink like I don't have any tattoos, but I followed this restaurant around. I know all their addresses from like oh, that's every year that they like moved. I I would get all their uh, addresses <laughs> on my body. That's how much I love Max's. They have a rigatoni bolognese that will blow your tits off. It's not on the menu. Uh, oh, Max's is absolutely incredible. Um, most overrated. Where have I eaten? Don't say it. <sighs> I'm, it, I'm too afraid. I'm actually too afraid. Um, I you know, love Carbone. I love Carbone too. Carbone uh. in Vegas is overrated. It. I had some of the worst service I've ever had. Everything in Carbone. Vegas is overrated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the place itself is. We overrated. take a chain restaurant and then you put it there and you expect it to be the same and you're like, yeah. oh, well, these people are from the Vegas tunnels. Right? They are exactly. on. A I lot thought of I would thrive in Vegas. Like I love doing shows there, oh, yeah. but it is not necessarily my town. And I'm, I mean, I'm a glitter it's, girl. It's a great 36 hour. I, town. It's a great 36 hour town. The shows are always fun in Vegas from yeah. what I, I've experienced. Have you done? Oh, you know, Vegas, yeah. Vegas, yeah, yeah. yeah, you get in. Yeah. I, I like to get in in the day. You do a show, you stay out that late that night and then you get a, like a late flight the next day. Yeah, you get around the next good day. Mm-hmm. A good buffet. Buffets are hilarious. Oh. You ever you ever wonder what America is like at its core? Go to a Las Vegas buffet. Actually, even better, go to a Tunica, Mississippi casino buffet. We used to go up to Tunica because they have casinos there, and they used to have a Paula Deen buffet. So we would go after football games. We'd be like fucked up at the Mississippi football game, drive an hour up to basically the Delta, the Mississippi Delta, and go to like a Tunica casino, and then tear up some ooey gooey butter cake at that Paula Deen buffet. Oh, what time are we talking? Seven a.m. So, yeah, 8 at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven a.m. or four a.m. Something like that. That is uh-huh. great. Yeah. yeah, I went to a Atlantic City buffet. That was Ooh. something else. Atlantic City. That's a town. That is. I haven't played Atlantic City in a minute. I've never played Atlantic City. I don't even know the feel of it. I went it was there fun. I, I they did say the, it's coming back, right? Did they, is that the, the rumor? My sister feel- lives in New York, and she said it's kind of like a quick like weekend getaway. Okay. She's, it's like a meme weekend. You're like, yeah. Fun weekend. I don't even know. But no, oh no, I was saying I feel like the Atlantic City, it's coming back. 
has been 45 years. I agree. It's coming back. Absolutely agree with you. It's like they're still heroin. We see heroin. Like yeah. People are doing heroin <laughs> yeah, right yeah, yeah, now yeah. underneath the, underneath the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's not even pulling the slot machine. He's just putting his arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Oh, I won. I won. I had a lot of fun out there. It was, uh, the crowds were rowdy as hell. Yeah. I remember within a minute, this black dude asked me how big my penis was on stage. And, and like, you I'm going to show you. I, I was like, it's not what you have, sir, mm -hmm. I would imagine. And this is a minute in. Yeah. Uh, I think, I forget what it was, but it was great venues in the... Is it a Borgata? Is that a yeah, the Borgata. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. It yeah. was. It was fun. Uh, you, What's your favorite city to play? We were talking about I, this I love a the little bit. Random ones. I love yeah. a good. I like Sacramento. Yeah. Tempe, Arizona. Yeah. Tampa. I. Tampa. My, Tampa yeah. is Tampa. always Tampa. the best. What? What? I love. I, it. I had a woman come to like you know the meet and greet afterwards, and she had a giant Louis Vuitton purse, and like you know, listen, my audience, we have a lot of gals, so they bring me gifts. That's a nice oh, thing. Super about nice. gals yeah. bring you cookies. Guys yeah. ask me if I want a Zen. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, this woman had to open up her Louis Vuitton purse. She's like, "What you want?" She's like, "Got an eight ball it? of Coke, pills, everything." No. And I was just like, "Oh hell yeah, more Ritalin." <laughs> yeah, honestly, and I was just like, "This is the greatest thing ever." I mean, I usually get like, you know, like uh, paintings of my face and stuff like that because women really like to show off their art skills. But this one was just like, what you want? Tampa you want some was, drugs? Tampa was the second show I ever did on my uh, theater tour a couple of years ago. And it was, they have this parade called Gasparilla. Uh -huh. Are you familiar with it? Yeah. Yeah, where everybody just is like a pirate. And mm -hmm. uh, that, my show was on Gasparilla. I kept getting a bunch of DMs like, dude, don't do it this day. Everybody's yeah. gonna be hammered. And then I'm in my head like, fuck, is, are people even gonna show up? And it was, to this day, one of my favorite shows ever. Like the be this gorgeous theater, the crowd was just awesome. Yeah. I came out in a pirate suit. It was yeah. like, it just yeah, Tampa. It's it's they're just excited. They're excited. It's a good part of Florida. Like every time I go to Fort Lauderdale, I'm just like, oh, is that a bad part of Florida? It, yeah, it's Fort Lauderdale's a little hard. And I'm always there during the boat show during in Fort Lauderdale. What's, so the, what's I, the boat show? The boat show is where all the boat the yachties come in to sell, their, uh -huh. sell the shit on the boat. So it's oh, like, yeah. okay. I, it's always the most mixed bag in my audience and that people have been fucked up buying yachts all day at the boat show. And then I got to do comedy and I'm like, oh Why God. do people think that you're supposed to get fucking hammered before a show? You got to listen. I had a real big PSA because when I first got on the road like four or five years ago, I realized like my audience was just... Uh, they, a lot of them were new to stand up yeah. and they were like, of okay, yeah, we ours, just want to come too, yeah. out and they thought it was like a big sorority meeting. And I'm like, it's not it. Yeah. I am a performer. I work really hard at this shit. Yeah. Please have some white wines, have a good time, get those bar sales up, but have a chicken quesadilla before you come. Like you got to yeah, have something yeah. in the stomach. I think it's the empty stomach. It's the empty vibe. stomach. Yeah. And Dude. now they know. Now they're respectful. I mean, I still have like crazies every now and then, but th I, I've really put the fear of God. I'm yeah. like, let me do my job. Yeah. Why are you paying 250 bucks or, you know, for Whatever. a girl's yeah, night yeah. out and you've got to get a babysitter and all this shit. And then you're like vomiting on yourself or yeah, fighting my, with somebody in the back. What are we doing? Dude, my last three weekends, there's been multiple people that got not kicked out, but multiple people like literally vomiting in mm -hmm. their seat. Mm -hmm. And then it ruins mm -hmm. three minutes of the show because all of a yeah. sudden the entire room shuts down and I go, what the fuck is happening? And be yeah. like, they're throwing up. And yeah. then you hear just, uh, and yeah, like, what? To your point, like if you're going to a Metallica concert, yeah, yeah go to that bar. Go hard. Slam some Irish car uh -huh. bombs. Can you say that anymore? Isn't that a thing? You can have an Irish. I, I'm Irish. You can say that. Boom. I, I can say it. <laughs> but it's like, that's a show you want to get fucked up for. You're going to yeah. mosh. You're going to yell. But like, in my head, it's like, oh man, we're we're seeing a comic. We're gonna throw back the fire. I don't know yeah. what. I, I, okay, I don't know. Maybe from maybe their perspective, the it's like, oh, let me get more drunk because I, it's things are like funnier when I'm drunk. I don't know, but it never helps. I, I say take mixture. a little chocolate mushroom, take a gummy, Ooh, come sit back, get wow. in that comfy theater seat, yeah. and giggle your dick off. But don't come in when you've been chugging, you know, Pinot Grigio for the last eight hours since you picked up because you don't want to sit down. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is sit down for two hours. And if you're drinking too many liquids, you're getting up every thirty. Minutes. Oh, so, pee, oh, oh, everyone, you know? yeah. sit, down. Sit, sit down. down. sit down. Sit down. Sit down. And then the middle person <laughs> got to get the and pee in your diaper. Yeah, buddy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I sometimes I do get it though because. Sometimes the tickets, especially theaters, it'll be like shows, it'll just say like 7 p.m. But like, you're like, wait, isn't the show at 8? And they're like, oh, doors open at 6. Yeah. And then the doors of the theater open at 7. So people are just sitting there and like, yeah, I should drink. Yeah. I should probably throw some booze back. I would do it if I was just like Me killing too. time before. Do you it. ever do meet and greets and like take photos of people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, you, the first like, bit that I went out, I would do that beforehand. And then I was oh. like, no. Oh, no. I said, no, this breaks the fourth wall. It does. It because does if I'm bit. doing like two well, show nights, I was like, oh, right. I'm not doing this because then these gals would be like, you're my bestie. And then they sit on the front row and they've been there since four and oh, they're just blackout yeah, drunk. Yeah, yeah. And then they're just screaming at you though. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm not <laughs> dealing with this. 
Dude, yeah, I'll, so, I'll put a, a gal yeah. named Lindsay out of a show real quick. Oh, yeah. I, I get more in my head if I meet people before the show. Cause, yeah. Because then, you know, they're like, I drove seven hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, and then you get so, yeah. Oh, I've got cancer. Here's my GoFundMe link. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they just hand you a link with their hands. <laughs> they hand you a square. Right yeah, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like in my head, I'm I'm already in my head before a show. Just like, it's one of the best show possible, yeah. this and that. And somebody, and then it's always like the girlfriend who really wanted to see me and then the boyfriend who didn't care to be there. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I hope it's funny tonight. You're like, why would you yeah. say that? I didn't, I didn't know who you were. Honey, try cool. being a gal, yeah. okay? I get the guys who are like, they'll come to the show and they'll be like, oh, my wife drugged me yeah. there. It's always you're getting dragged. And then they come and they're like, wow, really liked watching your tits bounce and you're very funny. And well, I'm that's like, what see, I was gonna say yeah, for this yeah. podcast. Yeah. Shut that, the fuck up. You know what, I had, you know what <laughs> might be a good- <laughs> uh, In the mean and green, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> Shut I, the fuck I, up. I literally be like, <laughs> I, I, the husbands that are there, I'm like, yeah. wait, you even paid extra for the mean green? Like you, like those guys, I'm like, everybody gets blown tonight. Like, I'll get at least yeah. give you a dry hand Well, they surprise you. You're actually a chill dude. What yeah. about this? Here's an idea. You know how all guys, when they're shopping with their wife, they sit on the obligatory shopping bench yeah. in a store? Uh -huh. What if... At the back of your show, there's just a just a guy bench. That's a great idea. And it's just husbands in the back talking about golf simulators. But here's the thing: my now my new hour is all about like explaining to guys why women get upset about the golf thing as a golfer. Mm -hmm. So now they're coming and they're like, "Well, I actually they're like taking notes. They're like, thank yeah. you for explaining that.' I'm like, you will get laid if you do X. I'm trying to I'm trying to get you to understand why your wife, girlfriend, partner ticks. I'm trying to explain that to yeah. you. Yeah. But I like that. Just a bench in the back. It's just I'll a pass funny, on heaters. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> just a Funny visual. Yeah, Every time just, you go shopping, they're all in Peter Millar shirts, just yeah. smoking yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, Peter Millar shirts. Yeah. Drinking this? bourbons. How about this? How about they buy tickets at a show and then they don't fucking go? <laughs> no, I would rather, I would, no, I'd rather you come because I'm going to prove to you that you're going to have a good time. Uh, yes, that okay. is true. No, I don't want an empty seat. Go okay. fuck yourself. You come to the show, you sit, and then they're like, oh, women can be funny. I, yeah. had, I had a guy come backstage at a show. He was like a friend of a friend of my husband's. And the first thing out of his mouth was, was this is in Jacksonville. Oh, first no. thing out of his mouth was, Duval! Yeah, well, Duval. <laughs> They scream that at you. And then he was just like, I didn't, he was like, oh, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if women could be funny, but you really impressed yeah, me. Yeah. And I looked at my husband, I go, you know this fucker? I was like, get him out, get yeah. him out. I'm not, oh, dealing, of course. I'm not dealing with this That's shit. That's when I wish I was in click without yeah. saying, mute, yeah. shut it, get it down. <laughs> hey man, I didn't know who you were before this, but yeah. man, hey, pretty funny stuff. Pretty funny. I love Mike get a follow tonight on the <laughs> TikTok. Mike, gonna, hey, don't fucking need it. Don't need it. Do you know what I hate when they get real specific? Like, hey, uh, yeah, my, my girlfriend's gonna, and then I watched some of your clips. I was like, eh, it's okay. And yeah. then, and then yeah. you know what? And then I liked it. Why did you have to say any they of it? They walk you through the whole breakdown <laughs> of, of it. Yeah. 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 I love, yeah, when they're telling specific jokes, just like, so, yeah. didn't really relate to that one, not my thing, but this other thing. And you're the like, just shut up. The funniest is when I have friends, and this doesn't really happen as much, it was like when I was first really getting into comedy in LA, a lot mm -hmm. of my like friends who were from college lived in LA too, and they'd come to my variety case shows where it'd be like me and five other comics yeah. on there, six whatever and they text me during the show like didn't like his set didn't like her set yeah this guy was great and i'm like what? why <laughs> am i getting this red this zone is, analysis this is not the voice yeah, well, yeah. Yes. Fucking, dude, it kills yeah. me let us jump dude when we started podcasting online store was the furthest thing from our mind dude now we are soon to be selling that's right we said it soon to be selling merch very and, soon buddy and it's so easy okay all because we use shopify Oh! Oh! Was that, that is, the sound of a new sale? That's the sexy sound of the gosh darn world. God dude. damn! I what is it, Shopify? Dude. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. Yes, it does. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million dollar stage? <laughs> <laughs> Shopify is here to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soaps of your mom's vagina, Gwyneth Paltrow, or all free outdoor habits, <laughs> Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system. Yep. Wherever, whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. We're selling nut towels online through Shopify. Every single merch shop we've ever done, we have used Shopify and we absolutely love it, dude. The infrastructure is amazing. Um, just literally every element of Shopify is just so simple, clear. Um, I'm stupid with technology and I understand it. Um, so Very highly, highly, highly recommend um, Shopify if you're selling anything online. There's no other way to grow your business with them without Shopify. That's what I'm saying. They so just make it easy. So sign up for a $1 per month trial period at Shopify.com slash what? Socks. All lowercase. Go to Shopify.com slash socks now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash socks. All lowercase. Cha-ching.
Uh, how do you put together a, like a character? Like I don't, I don't. That's so set. far out of my out of my world. Like how do you? Is it like a essentially like little like sketches oh, you within? Have, no, you have like oh, okay. yeah, uh, like little monologues. mini vignettes. You have yeah, monologues. You have six minutes. You have to change. Okay, it, uh, you know, out of your wigs on stage. Like and, it's a whole thing. And do you announce like? what the character is. Yeah. No, you just jump in. Oh, and if okay. like you're doing impressions, then you're popping in and just doing impressions. No, it's just like little mini, tiny little one act plays. And really? you have like, you try and do as many as you can in like five on minutes. on stage, yeah. Yeah, it's, well, it's a little schizophrenic. It's what a was the crazy. first character that you were like, um, you're like, oh, this is, okay, I want to do this. Like, what, like was there one that like- Well, I had an original character um, and I used to open as this character for myself on my yes. first tour. And then I realized it was way too much work. Yeah. Um, I used to this character, Brenda Carlisle, Mississippi's number one real estate agent. Great. And uh, that's how I do crowd work and like roast the city. I would like, you know, as okay. this real estate agent, she became pretty famous. And then I would do impressions like Pitbull. I do like uh, the Barefoot Contessa, Ina Garden. And now everybody so on you, TikTok does- you got does, a mean 305? Uh, <laughs> do I have a mean Mr. 305? <laughs> Uh, Mr. 305, Mr. Worldwide, dialect <laughs> in your face every day. Be you, you know? Why? Because I'm the best. Like, I love, yeah, it. I love it. I used to dress as drag, as Pitbull. Like, and I, okay, I yeah. and I originated that. I mean, there's a lot of like gals who do it now, but I would dress and drag and go out into places and shoot videos as Pitbull. Oh, that's great. Because I don't know why. I, can, I have one of those faces that's very like malleable. Like, I can look like a dude real quick. Really? Yeah. Was, it, was the bald cap hard with all the hair? No, easy. I can do it in. Three minutes are flat. Really? Uh-huh. Holy shit. Yeah. And then, so when did stand-up, when did you kind of go from characters to stand-up? I started in stand-up, went to characters because gotcha, gotcha. I was doing UCB in New York. And um, and then I just got back into stand-up, I don't know, like eight years ago. I was just like, fuck this. Because I was kept auditioning. I'm an actor. I was auditioning yeah. for stuff. I was playing all these other different characters and roles. And I wasn't, you know, getting my foot in the door the way I wanted. And I was like, I'm just going to tell my shit. Yeah. You know, literally the same thing here. So when yeah. you when you opened with the uh, the real estate agent, did you find it like hard to like follow that character because that character was so like massive? Um, wait, cl clarify that. No, no, you 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 would do the real estate agent uh -huh. like all, in your stand up, uh -huh. right? You do you open with the real estate agent yeah. and then change and then come back out as uh -huh. as you obviously, right? But was that real estate agent like a massive character? Yes. So what I'm what I'm saying is like, did you have like trouble is such a crazy word to use, but like did you have trouble like following that character? Um, Does that make sense? Or were people oh, just oh, so are you excited? saying me as yes, performer? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. No, no, I'm no. sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. Because it was just only crowd work, right? So oh, I would come okay, out and okay. do like shit about Tampa as this real estate oh, agent, okay, and okay. then I would come out as myself, and then it was like a whole. They probably loved it because it's almost like a double dipping thing. It's like yes. we got to see both of her. Yeah. yeah. But then I realized, like, I would talk to other comedians. They're like, "Are you out of your fucking mind?" I've tried It'd be to a two-hour show, it's and they're like, "Get hard. an opener. You're doing too much." Like, I, I, my body would be broken. Oh, you wouldn't even have an opener. No, I would open as this person, and then fill the full 90 minutes, two hours. Jesus. And the amount yeah. of drunk people in Tampa were probably like, whoa, there's two of her? Yeah. They probably exactly. had no idea. <laughs> no. Yeah. But I, awesome. I asked that question because Giannis, Giannis Papas, yeah. mm -hmm. he would, he, I think he had to have uh, Mauricia. So if, who, yeah, I who love has Mauricia. Own, but, oh God, the so best. funny. But he had to have her uh, go lat, like, like close. Oh, got it. Do you know what I mean? Just so I, because it, they like, she, Marisa was like a, it still is like just mm -hmm. this massive character. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what that's why I just. Well, and I'm sure like Angela Johnson comes out and does her bits from you right. know Mad TV. Like I I was talking to her the other day and she's like she will close with that. She'll come out or do yeah. like an encore as um you know oh, what's her name a Bonquita yeah, 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 and stuff yeah, yeah. like that because that's what people are dying to see. Yeah, I've tried to do character stuff and I and I did one, once where uh, on a lineup that I was headlining it was like my own like live stream oh, yeah, show event. That, yeah. It was like a character and then I'd introduce a friend, a character introduce friend and the character then introduce friend and then I did my like hour at the mm -hmm. end. It's fucking stressful, but I I do think it was fun and it broke up the crowd and yeah. it is like an extra like oh whoa, well, but yeah, um, oh, dude, people loved it. I did I did that show. The people yeah. people loved it. Oh, it was, it yeah, was yeah, fun, yeah. but you're you're like running back and in yeah, my head just, I'm just sweating, ripping wigs <laughs> off. I'm just yeah. and I'm. I was doing this all by myself. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm just focusing on the jokes, but then you're in the back like, oh God, where's my pink sunglasses? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are my rollerblades? <laughs> you're yelling at some fucking kid, like, I need a Keurig now. Yeah. <laughs> um, What's your pre-show ritual? Like, what do you do to set dude, the scene it is before calm. you go out on stage? I pace yeah. in the green room with uh -huh. headphones on. I just I just go over bits. Uh -huh. I just like talk it out in my head because if I'm just sitting there, like, if I'm just sitting there not going over my material, I'm like, I'm not sharp enough. Right. You know, I, I, I just go over the list or I go over bits that are newer, uh -huh. talk them out. Um, really, I, I try to work out at some point before a bigger show. You know, yeah, what good about? for you. That's literally almost exactly what I do. You know what I've been doing recently? This is not a big fucking uh, a high level thought. I've been doing dim green room. 
like mm. dim. Okay. Like like, like by bump, candlelight. Yeah. Like b- close. Like okay. I'll, I'll like I'll bring in. I don't. I'll find it in the in the club or whatever. The yeah. Theater, like a little lamp. Do a little lamp. Super dim. It just calms me down. I like that. And then I have my videographer bring like an essential oil thing. So we got essential oils. Happening. Oh, you're diffusing. Di- oh, oh. Diffusing. dude, you got the energy you right. You gotta get jerked oh. off yeah. in there. Hey, <laughs> this is no. a massage parlor. Dude, I, it's it's just it's zen as fuck. I love that. Oh, that's doing the, breathing exercises. I think this was always funny when like fans find out they're like, oh, I'm not like ripping Jaeger bombs before a show. Well, that's right. what's funny like, when the show. Not. Like a, if a theater show starts late, it's uh-huh. not because I'm in the back and sucked off by four <laughs> escorts smoking on a four loco. It's because I'm just sitting there waiting to be like, oh, are they at eighty percent capacity yeah. yet? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, now we can start, dude. I'm literally, yeah. I'm literally last theater show I did. I'm popping Pepto because I was Isn't shitting that, my but... brains up, and I'm just and I'm pop, and in my head, I literally look at my opener. I'm like. They think well, you that just, we're doing heroin. You start yeah. getting DMs and, like, oh, fucking yeah. stop sucking each other off and yeah, come, come out. Come on. And I'm like literally just eating Pepto as I'm walking out to the thing. I listen to cocktail jazz. It's, just, <gasps> it's a very specific Spotify it. playlist. I it's just my cocktail it. jazz. It makes I me, love yes. speakeasy cocktail yeah, jazz that's music. That's what I listen to. And then like right before I go out, I'll listen to like a Beyonce or something or like, you know, something yeah, to get me hype. Going, yeah. um, but yeah. I listen to my cocktail jazz. I put, do my hair and makeup. I put on my glitter suits, you yeah. know. I, you know, fluff the tits. But it's very very calm and yeah. and I'm having like maybe a little shark cute maybe a little meat and cheese. I love a, yeah. just a little like a little bit of a uh, a little a, salami and a yeah. little piece of pecorino is all you need it's enough fat it gets you through the it show it gets you through the show there's nothing worse than you, you need a I burn cannot. for a show I'm like Forget it. talking my words blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I just feel like the hamburglar up there you yeah. know what I'm doing recently what? and everyone's gonna yell at me I'm doing Uncrustables Everyone okay. fight That's me. Fine. I'm doing hat, but Green I'm not doing full one. in a dark room. I'm okay, doing Dan Schneider. Yeah, hat. <laughs> <laughs> but just a half an uncrustable because uh-huh. it's half. A hat. Dude, because what, you cut it down the middle, baby girl. Because Listen, you got sugar, fiber, thank fat. You. Thank you. I get it. I, thank you for being on board with this. Uh huh. And it's just, it's just. If enough. you're doing a lunchable though, I would literally burn Ooh. the whole place down. L- watching a grown man eat a lunchable is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh huh. I'm not opposed to lunchable. I'm in. Are you insane? I am insane. Which lunchable? Now, if you say the pizza. Lunchable, you should kill yourself. The pizza one is so good. It is. No, it's, it's the not. best one. Yeah, Ooh, the pizza man, one is good. You can go get a slice. The you pizza one tastes slice. like cold wind. No, you're absolutely out no, of your the mind. Pizza one I'm is leaving delicious. immediately. <laughs> I'm wait, wait, so wait, 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 I'll, we'll change name. I'm like, Tiff, I can't believe you're feeding your kids Lunchables. Like, you know okay. better, right? Yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. kind of digging around with her. And she's like, no, that's my husband's. He loves these. He takes them, like, you know, when he's out and about, like, you know, on a sales route. Well, that's I was a like, little, a no. sales route? I, you know, he does pharmaceutical Jeez. sales. I'm like, no. She, imagine he's talking to somebody who's just got a pizza sauce right here. I'm like, you're a 37-year-old man. You can go get lunch. You, wait, we can't hit a Chipotle? Okay, I, yeah. I, I, no. I I'm, think I'm, I'm against with that. I'm against okay. with, like, like, literally going to the store and buying them. But if you're doing some green room thing, Thing, but no. I, I don't have it. But mm-hmm. if they if they suppose to just have one in there, I'm eating it. What's on your rider? Like what what are your absolute I need essential to update snacks? Mine. There's in I'm, every show. What? There's a bag of cashews for some reason. I hate cashews. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't even put those on there. What about an almond? You like a toasted almond? No, no, too okay. dry. Too I'm dry. Going, I'm going. Uh, have you guys had the, the? This is also crazy. Soy, uh, the the soy sauce and uh, what's that green shit that dude? Wasabi, seaweed? the peas. My girl. This. Oh yeah. And those will get you. It's kind of like will. a uh, a Serrano. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You get pepper. a couple. Of, you start tickling up here. You know. And the next thing you know, you just get one hot one in the yeah, back. Yeah. Your nose starts doing the rain dance. No, I'm of I'm sorry. Not Serrano. Shishitos. Shishitos will Shishitos fuck with good. you. Fuck you up, but you'll have three and you're fine. But yeah. the wasabi peas, not all of them are hot, and then you get like that eighth one, and it's lodged in the back of your throat. What and you're crying. And cry- yeah. What is yeah. that? Yeah, let's it's, see. It's I, just, I just do a basic shit: fruit and uh, some deli meat, and maybe yeah. a cracker or two. Same. Uh, and yeah. then I, I haven't updated it in like three years, so there's still random shit on there. There's like Mountain Dew, uh, <laughs> my favorite soda ever, and I don't even drink a lot of soda. The only time I drink soda is maybe if I'm on the road. Is Mountain Dew Voltage? It's a blue Mountain I'm sorry, Dew. It's Mountain Dew Voltage. 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 It's, it's a blue one. It's just my childhood. My parents okay. used to go to work in the summer, and I would eat hot Cheetos and drink Mountain Dew Voltage Fuck and watch yeah. Jerry Springer in the daytime. Yeah. And, because my family didn't have any trauma, so yeah. I'd be like, "You, I want trauma," and I'd watch it Wait. like I was a fucking Buffalo Bills fan. You just opened up something for me. I did not grow up with trauma either. I used to watch Sally Jesse Raphael like it was my job. Is that why we watch yeah, these shows? Because we, we had happy families. Well, that's no. why there's so many guys yelling at the Buffalo Bills on TV who aren't <laughs> athletic. They're like, what the fuck? I'm... It's like my family is still together. They're so peaceful. They're yeah. so zen. They're the nice. Everybody who meets my parents are like, dude, they're so fucking nice. Yeah. But I would watch that and I, and I would see a guy
it wasn't too close to home for me. Yeah. There was that distance. See, I would actually watch it because it was close to home. It mm. felt comforting. Okay. I was like, because if, if my mom's gone, mm -hmm. no one's yelling. Mm. So what am I going to sit in an unyelling house? I need yelling. It's like my white noise before I go to sleep. Oh. I need someone screaming that this is your child. No, it's not Debbie. Like I need that. So my husband grew up in a real yelly house and yeah. I've had to be like, Italian. yeah, Italian. Yeah. And, and yeah. we're Italian too, but we never yelled. I think it's because we, it's a Southern thing too. We just uh, bury it deep. Yeah, yeah. But there are days yeah. where I'm like, I really in our marriage, I had to be like, okay, are you actually upset? Or are we good? Like, I can't tell. Yes. So I, that yeah. would kind of mess me up. I'm like the energy in this car right now is unhinged and he's like I'm having the best day of my life and you like I don't know because you're just screaming that's funny. It, it are you mad or just Italian he's yeah. like fucking both yeah. it's, yeah. so, it's so funny my, like, my girlfriend needs to check in with me sometimes because I I will scream my fucking face off mm -hmm. but I'm having a I'm doing it because it's fun yeah and also I need to release it because if I don't release it mm -hmm. then I go into a, a chase bank and shoot someone so yeah. I need I need, oh. I gotta get it out you know what really bothers me people who don't release a sneeze you know those people who, fuck oh, everyone they bite that sneeze no. and I'm like you gotta release where it where does dude. it go where does it go where does it go I think it just goes to colon just goes Ugh. well yeah. for women I think we queef it out but oh, either fun. way I just when I see people that that's an ick for me like when people like don't release a sneeze I'm like this is this is trauma just, right just do it just well, do it, it, it has such a big build if people just did it like quietly like huh yeah. And then I'd be fine. But it's the just in the I'm, elbow. Uh-huh. Oh my my older yeah. mate used to have the wettest sneeze. He wear like long sleeve, oh. he'd sneeze into his elbow That's and there'd terrible. be a puddle right here. That's disgusting. But That's like the vile. we'd make fun of be like, how? Yeah. <laughs> you have Lake Michigan in your oh <laughs> the wettest sneezes. My yeah. dad my dad has literally the loudest sneeze. Oh dude, you have in you have a child and your sneeze world, decibels bro. forget it. Skyrocket <laughs> what up. is that? You have one kid and you're like, <laughs> what is it? What, what just everyone calm down. <laughs> Everybody calm down. It's so dramatic though. My dad's yeah. Yes, it it's is. A My dad it's a need for sneezes. attention yeah, with the yeah, fucking loud-ass yeah, sneeze. We yes. get it, Mark. My dad sneezes, and you hear the chair of the kitchen table scoot back. He yeah. Goes, oh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one-two combo. Any kids or no? No kids. Okay. Uh -uh, no kids yet. Um, plans to do it. Yeah, plans Fun. to do it. Yeah, I did IVF a lot in uh, 2021. Did like oh, right. three rounds, and then I got one embryo. So I've got a, a little baby girl on ice somewhere. Don't know where she is, but she is on in a she fridge. Dry, dry ice? There. Yeah. She's at the surface. I don't know if it's dry ice. I don't know if it's dry wet ice. kind of cool. She's in some lab somewhere. So I do have one. It's kind of fun. Yeah, but we might um, uh, might go to Ireland this summer and, and do the egg freezing there. Is it different? Is it? Yeah, it's different. Well, it's more just, alcohol. Is that like can, when people go to Turkey for a hair transplant? Yeah, exactly. A hundred percent. Actually. Yeah. But, what, but yeah, why? It's why? like, it's, there's like fertility um, tourism right now. Well, one. Doing, in Ireland? Yeah, in Ireland. But think about it. Pe I mean, I'm Irish. The people of Dublin are fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, also with all the shit that's going on in America as a oh. woman, you don't really know what the fuck's mm. going to go on. Oh, So if you can fuck. freeze your embryos over there, then you're Does probably Gucci. make them Irish? Great question. We have a consultation. My girlfriend Tina's here, and we were um, asking questions we're about asking that. The hard hitting questions yeah. to this doctor. When yeah, we we have a, we yeah. have a Skype because next if week. I if I was an embryo that was yeah I don't know if planted is the right word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Planted and I, I'm. You'd using, want a, you want a passport? Oh my! I would want a pass. I'm yeah. telling everybody that I'm going to a bar. Yeah. I said, "Where are you from?" I'm really from Connecticut. I'm like, "Oh, Ireland." Yeah, exactly. I'm riffing. Oh, we're we're going to ask those questions, but I That's, think that might wow. be something that we do. Yeah, but no kids yet. It's wild. You spend your entire life trying not to get pregnant, and then you uh, look into it, and you're like, "Oh shit! No one told me anything." Baby yeah. fever? No, not baby. Baby fever. Okay. Here's the weird thing. I don't have baby fever. Period. I have like, and this is going to make me sound like a pervert, but I have like eight year old kid fever. I want like a kid. No, I'm not normal. craving the baby. I'm craving the like the great relationship with like the family aspect. Mm -hmm. But I, I have no desire. Like I don't like I need it in my yeah, room. I, don't I want the baby. I don't like, want to start the puzzle, but let yeah. me get the last give couple me, like, pieces Give me like this six year old. I want some kid who can go rollerblading with me and give me a little attitude. That's what I want. There you okay. go. I, I, want, I want an equal, if you will. What, you about, what about adopting out? I would love to adopt. Yeah. But here's the thing, and I don't want to make a real blatant statement, but men particularly need to connect with something that it's their own first. Oh. So uh, my husband's totally up for adoption, but he's like, at least let's try and have our own first. I said, fair enough. But I would yeah. adopt in a heartbeat. What's the oldest you can adopt? I don't 31. know. 31. That would be fun. 41? Uh, yeah. 31? That would be nice. If you yeah. had like adopted it's a 41. It's just a roommate. Of, it's just a roommate, but he could do your taxes. Like if I could cut oh. out my accountant and just have somebody do my taxes. Can we talk about fantastic. taxes for a second? What Confusing. the fuck is happening? Go? Nobody knows. Where do they go? No Tell me where it goes. I can't tell you. I I've got a theater yelling. degree from the University of Mississippi. You think oh, I know about there's taxes? There's theater out there. <laughs> there's theater. Bang, 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 bang. 
actually. Uh-oh. Um, Oxford, Mississippi is a very cultural place. William Faulkner lived there. A lot of famous artists. Blues music was started in Mississippi. Whoa. People want to dump on it all the time, but it's actually of a lot course. of culture. That's just, I grew up yeah. in California. I don't know anything it's about okay. the South. Yeah, yeah it's fine. I, uh, and what's what's the universe? Ole Miss? Ole Miss. No? Okay. Toddy Toddy. Ole Miss. Ole Miss football that is a, game, pregame. That's those just insane. Greatest. How uh, many people were you, did you see giving birth at a halftime? Um, uh, just because you think teen pregnancy was high or no, what? No, it's just like you're excited. <laughs> and you're like, it's a halftime show. Bop. I got to be honest with you. I um, thrived in my sorority life, but I really didn't make it to that many football games because oh, really? I was face down ass up at, at a tailgate. Oh, right. And a bottle of bourbon right. having a good time. Yeah, that was the funniest part is you pregame so hard to not go to the yeah. game. I mean, listen, we're really good right now. Like our team is fantastic. Ole Miss I, is a, yeah, I love Ole Miss so much. We bought game. a house there. Like I go back, I'm going to do a show um, for a kickoff for the new football season. Like I'm a diehard Ole Miss fan. But when I was That's in college, awesome. I was partying. You know, you I was should. at the Sigma Chi house As living my should. dream. Were you, I mean, were, like, I you plenty of that. Were you, yeah. were you like a party person in high school as well? Or when you got to college, you were like, let's fuck. I was it. a party person, but I, I mean, I, I always had like a healthy relationship with partying though. It okay. never, it never, I've never had like a problem with it. Like I know how, when to just, you know, when the Irish goodbye, I know when Irish goodbye and go home. And you have an Irish kid. And I'm an Irish kid. Exactly. Brought it back. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just got two questions and we'll just get uh, out of here. Let's sit it. You guys are so lovely. Thank you for having me. Oh my I God. Hope this is okay. You. Great conversation. Oh, no, say. this is a fucking phenomenal. Um, so we are going to get to some audience questions, but I've I been kind this. of in a, in a rabbit hole on a fast food branded merch. So I want to have you guys play a game yeah. of fuck, Mary kill really quick. Yeah, okay. right, um, right, right. I'll do so, it all. What the hell is that? So we're going to play Ooh. fuck, Mary kill. This is Domino's uh, adult stain resistant pajamas. Stain resistant. Mm. Uh, what is that? We've got high end. What a burger. I mean, Mary, 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 mm. Mary, Mary, uh, Mary. And we've got Chipotle water cup can. Get it out of here. So, <laughs> <can>. so yeah, <laughs> I, I think that is such a fucking reach. It's <laughs> should smell like lemonade because that's what the fuck I'm filling that water cup up with. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's gonna smell like Sprite or so something. You, do you, you like In and Out? Nope. I have In and Out socks on. Oh, I love In and Out. I do. Um, I but I I gonna tell you something. Uh -oh. I go to In and Out for the burger, and then I go across the street to Chick Fil A for the waffle fries. Not a bad idea. That one at right all. in Hollywood. That's got, yeah. that's my little loop. When oh. I'm hungover, I hit the Chick Fil A. You got the, time today. I got time. Or you're like, oh, get wow. an assistant. You Chick Fil A. Yeah, I yeah, in and yeah, out. Meet yeah. in the middle. And I know that's a controversial thing, but I don't love the fries at In and Out. I don't think it's controversial. You're right there with you. I mean, that combo would be phenomenal. Mm-hmm. A little Chick Fil A sauce, dip the oh. burger. Yeah, Chick Fil A sauce is going, made by the Lord. Are you going Chick Fil A uh, fries over McDonald's fries? Yes. Wow, it's not even close for you. Not even close. I, I might wow. agree on that. Wow. I feel like Chick Fil A fries got that that, that consistency. Mm -hmm. It can hold a marriage together. Mm -hmm. they, and it served with such a joyful spirit. My pleasure. You know, yeah. it's just no attitude. When you realize McDonald's fries, they just serve them exponentially hot. Mm -hmm. They're great, but they're not amazing. If it gets room temperature, you're like, this is trash. I yeah. will say the consistency it's of like little the Caesar's Chick Fil A. Pizza. I will say the consistency of the Chick Fil A fries universally. They all, it's the same. Dense. McDonald's, you can get over salted, under salted, yeah. too hot, not yeah. hot enough. It's all over the place. Because yeah. if they're not piping hot, then they're fine. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you get a bag and it's like a little like lukewarm, and you're like, well, who's who's on the grill? Fentanyl today? What are we doing? <laughs> like, what? I want the. Yeah, and I like a meaty. I like that the waffle fries are a little meaty. Oh, they got you a grip know? on it. They you got know? Low you can grip. like scoop. It's like a Tostito scooper yeah. in there. It's basically potato skin. You're eating yes. potato skins, dipping it in ranch, yes. dipping it in the Chick fil A sauce, dipping it in the Polynesian. I also Polynesian. just, I'm a condiment whore. So for me, I feel like that's just a vessel to get the dips oh, yeah. and I'm the sauce. I'm a sauce slut. Yeah, yeah, me too. I need to yeah. have yeah. a whole charcuterie of sauce. Mm -hmm. I want like options. You know, I'm playing like yeah. goddamn bongos in there, just Same. scooping around. Same. Yeah. Um, what do we, okay, so I will, uh, I'll kill the candle. Okay. Um, I will, I will marry the boots marry and, the I'll, yeah. and boots. I'll fuck, uh, Jim Carrey's son. <laughs> yeah. I'm right there with you. Um, because first of all, a Whataburger boot, like it's just a saw. I bet that's like a Lucchese boot. Maybe that's a solid boot. That's going to be with you forever. It's yeah. 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 And if yeah. you're showing up for late night at Whataburger, you need shit kickers on. Yeah. Cause there's going to be a fight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're probably eating this in Texas. Can like, I say yeah. something insane right now? Uh huh. I'm, I'm actually scared to say this. Um, water burger, average. I agree with you. I'm, okay, thank yeah. God. I yeah, everyone's gonna crucify. No, it's okay. Me. Okay, good chicken tenders, but everyone acts like their breakfast sandwich is the best thing in the world. It's not. No. Raisin cane. What's happening? Two. The lines are too long. Oh, do, wait, raisin we, canes. 
I've never had it. Is it Raisin fucking- Cane's is delicious. Okay. It is good. But you got to go. You got to get it there. And the one here in California is, I mean, it's like an hour north or some shit. Yeah. yeah Raisin yes, Cane's is really Burbank, delicious. Burbank, yeah. This yeah. sauce is really good. It's really good. I get it. I yeah, get the hype. I love a Raisin Cane's. I get the hype. Maybe uh-huh. I just, I've been to Whataburger, but I haven't been there blackout drunk. And I think a lot of, well, where did that country accent come <laughs> from? I think a lot of this is also like nostalgic. It's like you Agreed. grow up going to Whataburger. You, all you know is Whataburger. Yeah. All I know is in and out. And then the problem is like, maybe I don't know what I'm ordering at Whataburger. Uh huh. I might order it because people come to LA, they go to In-N-Out and they just get like, I will take a double-double, please. No modifications. No. Dumbass, idiot. Add pickles, add chilies, sub, do, half yeah. If it's not animal style, then yeah, you need then, to kill yeah, you yeah. got to know. The, <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. But you got to know those things. So maybe I got to go to uh, Whataburger with a real Texan or a real felon and really know like what the Feel fuck you. you get. Yeah. I like the Domino Snuggie too. I think that's a nice Domino little. Domino Snuggie's good. Uh, yeah. I mean, if I sat next to this person on a flight, I'd have a heart attack. <laughs> but, uh, what is it about white people when they get on a flight, they immediately huck their shoes off? Go, I would never. These puppies need to come off. I do not. I do not. I always wear a close toed shoe too. Bro, I get pissed I when I see a, girls in sandals. I go, no, what's going to happen if this I have thing a goes down? Directly after this, I'm wearing this outfit. As you should. And you know what? You look great. Thank you so and, much. And it's sensible. And you got a nice, nice covered sole. So, yes. God forbid, you got to jump out a and fight for your pant. life. Yeah. Loose pant. Yep. So, you get a nice little airflow. Yeah. But you also need to be covered because planes are freezing. I fly I in can't. denim all the time and people yeah. yell at me. But I'm like, what am I going to wear? Sweats? I'm yes. just sitting up there just sweating yes. them all like a honey bun in there? I can't. You're, you're on board with this? This, I am. Now, you, I usually you, wear like a maybe a, like a nicer tailored Lululemon pant. I'm not wearing Lululemon's leggings. Great. But I'll wear like a nice one. So you can't really tell if but it's stre- like business uh, casual stretchy, or not. You know? Stretchy, okay. stretchy. Stretchy, but these jeans are really stretchy. Okay. And right. I also got a dead leg now, too. So I gotta, <laughs> yeah, you know, I can't <laughs> feel my ass right now. So, yo, my leg we is literally tingling. Yeah. I'm going right after this. Some guy oh, in the valley named good. Dr. Ron Perfect. who's gonna Ron. crack my neck. Yeah, I just passed the billboard on the way here that says get full teeth in six hours. So while you're out there, you got six hours to spend. Do you guys chiropractor I've never Do I've I? never yeah. it makes me so nervous no every time right before they crack my neck I'm literally I giggle I'm like this is it I'm gonna videos. die no I don't like the videos I don't understand that where people want to hear the bones crunch but it literally has saved my life Really? In yeah. What sense? Do you feel relieved after? Yeah, because when you are when you have back issues and like your leg is dead, and then they realign you, you just get it. You feel so much better. And it looked legit like you have a dead leg, crack a neck, and then no dead. Well, yeah, leg. They'll, they'll replace my hips. My hips get all fucked up. Uh, I threw out my back last year, and that almost hey, took me. Shut down. up, Jeff. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, you want to know how I threw out my back? This is so fucking embarrassing. I was at Laguardia. I had, I was flying to do a show in Pittsburgh. There's a K-pop van getting out of a Mercedes Sprinter van in front of me. Okay. And I'm at like Sky Priority at Delta. And I'm jumping out of the Uber real quick. I go to grab my duffel because I'm like, I want to see who the K-pop stars are. Of course. And I literally twist. My back like went out. Uh, and I hit the deck. And then they, so these hot Korean dudes are getting out of this Mercedes Sprinter van. Paparazzi are there taking photos. And I'm just laying <laughs> on the sidewalk. And then they had to put me in a wheelchair. Like no. I'm not a helpless person. I've had a lot of medical shit happen. And I'm just like, I'm a warrior bitch. And I literally could not walk. So then. And I'm getting pushed through TSA next to the hot K-pop guys, like lifeless in this um, this uh, wheelchair. Uh, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. And then it's been downhill since. Did you, <laughs> yeah. Did you ever find out who the K-pop stars were? Uh, it was BTS. Holy shit! It was wow. The BTS. The. The. They're they're massive. Big. Yeah. Uh huh. But rightfully they're so. They're flying like, commercial. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it was we were at JFK though, so they were they the were PJ. Mm, they were okay. Uh, no, okay. I think that they, like you're flying back to. You know, if there's Korea. anybody, oh, correct. If there's anybody to like, you know, break your back on, like that's valid. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you could have done that for like a 311 cover band, and you're like, oh fuck, I Honestly, blew my back up for 311 cover band, like Sublime, or you know, Sublime Good Rome, I'm yeah. like, what? Yeah. That's, that is my childhood right there. Of Vans course, of course, course. yeah. Um, but yeah, it, you did it for a cool reason. Yeah, but it was pretty mortifying, and then I had to do the show in, in Pittsburgh. A, just I got wheeled out on stage, and then I just like well, was kind of the audience were in a wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Pittsburgh today. So I don't know why I'm talking shit. Where are you playing in Pittsburgh? Uh, I'm just opening up some shows. It's at the arena. I'm doing shit with uh, Segura. Oh, my God. Amazing. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So I am not going to talk shit about anybody. No, no, no. I, not, lo- no. I love Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh people well, are great. Yes, shout out to the Yinzers. This goes out next week. We're good. Yeah, but we love yeah. the Yinzers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, all right, cool. So I think we so we got this. So we're going to kill Burger King. We're going to, or no, sorry. We're going to kill Chipotle Cup. We're going to. Mary, uh, Mary, Mary, the Whataburger Boots, and I'm gonna name my daughter Marionette, yeah. and my son mm-hmm. Bar- Marionette. What's uh, a Baronet? Is that a knife on a gun? That's a bayonet. 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 That, that's the boy's name. Marionette, Marionette and Bayonet. Yeah. Yeah. Marionette and boy. I like it. Marionette um, Bayonet blouse sign. So we do, uh, we have name. an audience question today. Um, <laughs> right? so this one's actually kind of fitting because you had kind of uh, touched on this a little bit, but Mandy had written in and said that um, everybody's talking about 
uh, little treat culture right now. Um, mm. Wanted to know like what your guys's little treat thing is. Oh. And are you kind of aware of like the this kind of the, no, the what kind is of it? joke? Yeah. Little treat is like it's like this idea of like okay if you're having a stressful day no. or like something oh, yeah. like that. It's like what's your little uh, treat? Do you know what my little treat you know? is? Jerking like, off. Jerking off. Oh, I love that <laughs> for you. We said it at the same time. We should do a podcast. <laughs> I got news for you. <laughs> we do, dude. Jerking off is—it's like because um, it's, you take that. Because I, I, I like to indulge, right? So mm-hmm. I'm doing 20, 30 minutes sweat down the knee, right? Mm-hmm. But it's it it it's wait. It, you like to indulge in the, the in jerk the off is it's twenty a, thirty minutes with sweat whole, going it, down the knee. It's a it's a whole thing from the windows yeah. to the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Sweat yeah. down my balls. My balls. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But my, my point it's is, the humidifier is, in the corner. Have to. I, I never remember to turn it on. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> 30 minutes of that time, all the stress of what I'm uh-huh. thinking about is gone. All I'm worrying about is and this on a person. Towel. It, it, well, not on a towel on the ground. But, but you know what I mean. It's so mm-hmm. that that treat. It gives me like 30 minutes of just like complete yeah. zen. But I don't have okay. to think about the clip. It's not doing no, whatever the Can fuck. Can I ask you, do you set up a little station? Because my husband sets up his jerk off station. Yeah, I have a whole station. Okay, yeah. What, yeah, is, what does his station, station look like? Is it well, in the I'm simulator really or no? Because we have these really expensive, gorgeous animal print chairs that I like custom made in our room. Oh, yeah. And, and then he sets up his little jerk off station. Shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. He's so, got his little lotion, his little, you know, his little holder for his phone or whatever he's looking at. Yeah. And he's got the towel and everything. And I've walked in on this too many times where I'm like, I'm. I'm downstairs. You know I'm still in the house. Why? What are oh, we doing God. here? Yeah, he thinks it's hysterical. How many screens yeah. is he going? Um, I've only seen uh, one really. Yeah. But uh, he says, sometimes I have the TV on. I just open the door and I go. I'm. I'm. What your guys' relationship here? sounds fun. I like it. He's great. Yeah, Dev is really awesome. great. Yeah, yeah. I really rip him a new asshole on stage. Um, but he's in. You have to. What do you mean? Oh, he's so nice. Fun. That's not funny. No, he's the best. That sounds yeah. great. Like to yeah. walk in and be like, really on the on the sofa on the nice chairs. Well, it was also cute too. I was just on the Today Show promoting something, and I come back and I walk in the hotel room, and he's got the jerk off stage, and he texts me, "You look so hot on TV right now." But I was like, "I'm." You knew I was gonna be home in ten minutes. You know, was like, he jerking off to you on the Today Show? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Stuff about it, and I was like, "That's very romantic." Dude, that's when, how you know when you're love, man. I literally mm-hmm. will be jerking off in fucking wherever I am, Cincinnati. Or I know we keep bringing that up, but like uh-huh. I'll be, uh, on the road, and I'll literally like sometimes porn's not doing. I literally bring mm-hmm. up pictures of my girlfriend to that's be like, great. "Okay, because this is real to me." Yeah. And then you're like, "Who? Who yeah. is this idiot?" On Guys the are just funny in their purest form. It's they just really like, are. I'd be jerky. It makes me giggle, and then yeah. I come in. I'm like, "Jeff, also I'll just join you." And so, "Why? Well, I thought you had another meeting after this." Okay, and now I'm just like, I'm oh, giggling because I'm seeing you in your jerk off. Hot, hot. And I'm like, I can't take this seriously. He's like, stop laughing. And I'm like, I, just see, I see the accoutrements around. And it's That's like, so it's fun. Tinder. You know what I mean? It's yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. He, it's he liked me in a pink blazer. It was very cute. But he's a good pink guy. Pink blazer. Yeah. So what's, what's your little treat? Oh, my little treat. Okay, well, you said jerking off. Mine is not jerking off. My little treat is actually a little treat. So I, mm. if I'm having a rough day, I know that there's nothing that a really good chocolate chip cookie with salt on top Ooh. and a glass of white wine. There's nothing wow. that that can't fix. Yeah. And maybe a vacation sick, you know? Yeah. That is my... Yeah. I need to get the blood sugar right. I need to get that little buzz, but I'm not like going hard for like a dirty martini. A glass of white wine and a chocolate chip cookie that's sweet, savory, salty. Mm, So happy. That, and that massages. I spend now. a massages lot of money. Great. My my, how I treat myself is massage. Yeah, and I'll pay anybody. I will let a, uh, you know, Say a it. fry cook at Panda Express take a little oil and just oh, rub me down. But they got yeah, they got they forearms. Got the, they, they got, got, got forearms. Yeah. They got tats. Oh, I am not afraid of me massage. Me the <sighs> yeah. yeah, some people don't like massages. Some people don't like really? to be touched. Yeah, and those yeah. aren't Americans. What are they? So cats? I'm sick of it. I think my little snacky snack is a little bit of ice cream or maybe a. Small little three milligram Zen just sitting on the couch. Oh, I didn't know about Zen, little, and my husband just d- introduced me to his Zen. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, what can we talk about? This just Zen like a quick? nicotine pouch. Nice. Um, it's a what's the what's the high feel like? You, it just feels kind of like you're getting a massage on your scalp. Like oh a little, fuck yeah! It's it's not a great habit, and I don't do it a lot. But mm-hmm. like every once in a while, I'm just like after a long day of filming, or mm-hmm. after a lot of oh, sometimes I'll just fuck myself over and do like five in town shows like an idiot, and then yeah. on that, that drive home I'll put it in to like okay, these two nice. podcasts. It's just just like it's like you just you sink in a little yeah um and and it's not i don't like doing it in the day because i feel like shit the rest of the day but like okay. at nighttime a little like sh- little cinnamon nice. little cinnamon in there that's fine or just like ben and jerry's uh fish food ice cream oh, i mean i put my dick in that immediately yeah i like a little edible at night and then i go like organize oh. a closet Ooh. you know what i mean and Ooh. then i turn on like the housewives and i got my little white wine i'm a little back edible. in edibles I got, but I do I, I do them light. I literally like I just want to feel like I've had a glass of white wine. Yes. But so, I like the so ones the milligram? I'm what's the milligram? Um like five. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes I'll even half that, you yeah. know? I'm half a that little two point yeah. five. Yeah. And then you're in there and you're unpacking or you're packing for your oh next trip. And yeah. you're, you know, you you're sometimes- face- 
I'll it's put like, on like uh, music, like in my yeah. headphones. Like that's like, there's no mu- There's no like words in it. It's just mm-hmm. like, and I get a little stone and I feel like I'm in a movie yeah. and I love it. Dude, listen I'll to the like, cocktail like, jazz. Ooh. Do a little, co- okay, this is I your might new fall calm down. Myself. Take a little 2.5 or real chill so you're yeah. not getting paranoid. Put on the cocktail jazz. Get the diffuser out, yeah. light a candle, you know what I mean? Have a little snack tray, fuck it up, wow. and then jerk off for an and hour. Then jerk and off. Oh, <laughs> but the high notes are great. Oh. Yeah. The high notes can are I, great. Can I tell you, jerking off is 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 fun, but I constantly have so much stuff going on in my brain. It is very hard sometimes for me to turn off my brain. Really? That's, that's why the only it's time nice I to can. participate. But I, that's what I was gonna say. That's the only time I can. Is when it when it, yeah. like you, 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 But men are able to do that. You guys right. are able to compartmentalize. Women, oh. we have so many tabs open in our brain. I almost feel guilty jerking off sometimes because I know there's other shit that has to get done. Tabs Mm. open is a great way to look at that Mm -hmm. because I remember my last relationship, I think one of the tabs would come up. She'd be like, I'm going to go back to med school. I'm like, where did that tab come from? How how many years ago was that tab planted? So I had this idea that all men are kind of autistic like because y'all are able to dial in. You're really able to dial in on one thing. Y'all do one thing at that moment. You jerk off so hard, so so good for 30 minutes. But women, we're jerking off and we're still thinking about like, oh, did I change the laundry? Like, did I do this? You're not thinking about other men, aren't you? Yeah, never. I would Uh never. No. I have a dream. So I know we got to close this up, but I have a dream sometime. Like, even if I'm like trying to cheat in my dream, I can never go through with that. You know what I mean? Even Wholesome. like a fantasy, I can't. I, I can't. Oh, I run train at a yeah, brothel. I feel my you dreams. Did. I no, feel no, like no, you no, do. no. Um, wow, that that is yeah. so wholesome. Yeah, it's so funny when you're jerking off. Nothing else in life matters. Like mm-hmm. my house could be on fire, and I could be like, how how much fire are we talking? <laughs> yeah, it's also like, do I even need this house right now? Yeah, I don't need yeah. this house. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put it out with my own fire extinguisher. Yeah, I just want to come and then I'll jump out the window. That's good. Oh, speak, speaking of cheating dreams, I what? literally had a dream. That literally two days ago. That you know, I dream was, of that, cheating. Light him. Oh, cool. But no, 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 no. This is what I, this is where I'm going. So I had a dream that I was in, moving to back to New York. Okay. And I was looking at this place with the real estate person, right? Mm-hmm. And that was literally it. Guy or girl? I, uh, guy. Oh, like like uh, he was he was uh out of time. Like he looked like 1970s. The oh, dream she, was weird, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, the I woke up. Game. I woke up. And my girl was like, you know, how was your sleep? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, I had a weird dream. I'm in New York. And she goes, oh, cool. Like, what, was I in there? And immediately I was like, oh, fuck. And I was like, no. She goes, oh. So you're just going to move to it. It's like so yeah. funny that like I'm yelling. I'm getting yelled at. But like by it. It's just it's just a. I wake up sometimes. Go ahead. And I've had like a night terror. And I'm sobbing. I have an overactive imagination. I'll be like, wake up and I'm just crying and I'm yelling at my husband. Like, you did this. He's like, that's not reality. You're like, what are this you doing? It's not true. It's not true. That but was a dream. It feels so real. It, but it feels so real. Do you guys remember your dreams? Yeah. Very. Sometimes. Good for you. I had a dream. What was the last? I, I went last night. What was it? What was it? Fuck. What was it? What was it? Things are very vivid for me. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I had a dream last night that I was at the improv in Hollywood in the back parking lot. And some kids are following me mm-hmm. and they're like, Hey, hey, Trevor. But they said it in not like a hey friendly yeah. way. Uh-huh. And then I'm walking away and I realize these kids are about to bully me. And then they started throwing milk cartons at me. Oh and God. I got so mad because I had to go to another show and I got hit with a milk carton <laughs> on a gray sweater. Yeah. And it, 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 his aim, like he threw it from far, like he hit me twice. We can dissect that on the next time I come on. Well, uh, I'm going to yeah, I don't write like, down the dream journal. I I we'll we'll talk about night. this. I'm usually getting bullied in my dreams or I fight somebody and every punch I hit them doesn't hurt. It's like in a movie when the buff yeah. guy gets punched and he goes, ha ha, try again. Like I've never beat somebody's ass in my dream and I've never, never. successfully had sex. I nut too quick in my dream. I don't know what happens. Never successfully had sex. No. Yes. That's what it is. What it's is like, that? Even if I think I'm doing something bad in my dream, I, it, there's, there's, every time I'm finish. about to, there's like a knock on the door yeah. and it's like a postman's guy. be like, I'm a firefighter. Like what's happening? I've never been successful in any of my dreams. Like, I never, yeah. like, woke up and be like, oh, hell, yeah, I'll kill him. Are yeah. dreams never. ever good? No. Like, dreams are, like, the if, facade of a dream. It's like, my dream is to go to Hollywood. But, like, when someone dies, just wait. When someone dies, oh, no. you'll have a recurring oh, dream fuck. that you're on an escalator coming down in a, in a mall, and there's a J.C. Penney's and the grate's down, and, like, you're, you're like, my, it's always my dad standing there, oh. and I'm trying to get to him, but I can't get to him. Oh, my that's, God. That's once a week, guys. Really? Yeah, it's not great. That's <laughs> Yeah, not oh, good. I'm so sorry. I feel like I was too serious on this. No, podcast. no, no, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Oh. Um, should we jump into oh, yeah. the question? Yeah. Have to, one more thing. Uh, no, this you're, is you're just great. an anonymous submission. There's not even a question here. They just uh, wanted to get this off their chest. Hey. They said, uh, "I need to tell you that men's toes taste better than women's." Oh, um, good for them. I feel like men's toes have more seasoning on it. Yeah, a little more it, salt. It just, salted vinegar. It depends on what type of guy you are. I mean, if you if yeah, you're not yeah. a guy who showers regularly, it's going to be rank and stank. But generally, women, I feel as though, in my personal experience, to keep you know things generally clean. And even mm-hmm. when I'm sucking my girlfriend's toes, even if she's walking around the apartment for an hour or two, 
doesn't matter. I taste a little bit of the little bit of the dirt, mm. and then I get right through it. <laughs> like a charcoal. I get right you through. Like it. a little. Uh, yeah. yeah, but it, it tastes dry a dry rub. <laughs> yeah, but you get through the dry rub, and then mm. and this toast. Through you just the get dry through rub. Okay, I haven't heard that one. You get through the dry rub. <laughs> yeah, and then it, and yeah. then everything you know, like, tastes like, like toast. Like salt uh, or like yeah. St. Louis yeah. ribs. I hear you. I, hear, I mean, as a Southern gal, I know about that dry rub. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I have not. So your husband. I have, I have not put the toes in the mouth. That's okay. not been my journey. So I don't know. I don't think I can speak on this one. Have you had your toes in someone's mouth? Uh, yeah, but, but like in college, I was like, oh, what are we doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Ole Miss days. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ole Miss yeah. days, dude. Yeah. Freaks at Ole Miss. Oh, yeah. Freaks yeah. at Ole Miss. But no, I'm not, I'm not sucking my husband's toes. He also has talents half the time. The man loves a pedicure. Like, he'll go with me, get a nice pedicure. But the the grow out, like, you right. know what I'm, I'm like, why can't we just maintain all the time? Mm. That's what I don't, he always keeps his nails nice. But I'm like, what are, you know, oh, he'll come yeah. in and just scrape you. Oh, scrape yeah. right through the shit. Oh, that's about awful. Then you look down and you're like, yeah. that one's kind of yellow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, do you guys enjoy sucking toes? Uh, that's not my forte. Yeah, but same. the man to my left is a... Uh, you really like toes. Yeah, very, very much so. He so can I, I ask you a question? I, yeah, so are feet in general, do you like the look of feet? I mean, I like the feet that I like the look of, but yeah. I, there's definitely feet that are disgusting for sure. I've been told I have really nice toe cleavage. So my- Toes got tits? No, yeah, toe cleavage. So when I have my foot in a heel, men have complimented me, you've got great toe cleavage because I have nice shaped toes so and come- really nice nail beds. Okay. Yeah. So, Congratulations. I mean, I'll show you after this, but I didn't know there was a thing. <laughs> the toe men are like toe cleavage. I was like, all right, let's Hot. go. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're talking about like just because it's like they the, all, the they all form it. It's like a push up bra. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So it's like that little peak of the top of that, the toe. I got fly chested toes. I feel like if I really? pull, I, I mm-hmm. feel like if I put mine in a stiletto, they're not doing much. <laughs> yeah. They would need a push up bra. Itty bitty titty there. toes. Yeah, I would need mm. to stuff them up a little bit, mm-hmm. put some cotton balls underneath it, you know, perk them up. Arch up. Itty bitty titties are not fun. It's what yeah. I, I yeah, you guys like big titties? I like women. Yeah, I like just, great just, answer. Just a just, great answer. just a woman. Yeah. Cause, Cause it's like I don't I just like whatever you bring to the table. Mm-hmm. I you love know? that. Cause mm-hmm. I l- listen, Ugh. I'm not an ideal woman's man. You know what I bring to the table? Mm-hmm. An attitude. An attitude, some maybe media. a little eczema. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, know. I like that. It, it, it's fun. I think sometimes it gets so stuck. I'm like, I love ass. And then you see yeah. a nice rack and you're like, hold on. I think titties have been in the back seat for life. a minute. Yeah, Is titties are coming back. I think titties are coming back. Shut up, Sydney Sweeney. got a little too big. Now they're goofy. The asses are goofy now. Yeah, yeah. well, they, back need, to the they need, uh, you know, they need BTLs, Brazilian thigh lifts. <laughs> yeah. The butt's got to match the thigh. I agree. Shit looks like an AirPod out there, okay? It's all... Thunk, thunk, thunk. Yeah, it, it, it looks goofy. Yeah, I mean, talk about hip issues. I mean, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. But if you can put storage in it, like the back of a Rivian, that'd oh, be kind of cool. Oh, the Rivians are nice. I want one. Are you they want, I've been looking I'm, into a Rivian. Are, Not they, the truck, I, but the new SUV oh, that came uh, out. Oh, I've seen that. They have a literal place like for your golf clubs. Yeah. Like a golf yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm into no, you, it. You would love it. The Rivian uh-huh. truck blows a Cybertruck out of the water. What are you, what are you driving now? What's your what? I just have a Tesla. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, great. What about you? I got an Audi Q5 hybrid. Yes. Ooh, I yeah. just looked at that fucking yesterday. Can I tell you? Get it. It's the best car. Really? Because I was going to go Tesla, but I was like, eh, I'm in Georgia. I don't want to have to worry about like a charging station. Yeah, the charging and they're great. everywhere. I mean, we got a Tesla store down the street from our house, but I, I ended up going hybrid so I can go either way. Ah. So, you, hold on, so you can, this is a dumb question. Hybrid is bisexual for a car. Sure is. Bisexual is so cool, you can fuck everything. So yeah. my thing is, you can charge it. How long does that charge last? So I will say, yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't hold a lot of charge. But I can like run to Whole Foods, run my errands. I think I get like 20 miles. So that's not a lot, right? That's not a lot. But if you're just running on that to do your day-to-day bullshit, and then I get a full tank of gas. Okay. It's it more is, so to tell people you have an electric car. Just yeah. to be like, mm. Yeah, but I'm also, also like, I'm green. I'm progressive. Mm, I'm green. I can I'm drive in the car lane. I'm green. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a DUI and be like, I'm progressive. Yeah. <laughs> Duracell, have you heard of her? <laughs> yeah, come on now. Uh, 100%. Beautiful. I got to look into it. Yeah. Have a man. All right. Guys, thank you. We've really funny. covered everything. I don't think there was a moment this of silence. No, and I really appreciate you guys having me. And I am big fans of y'all. And I think you're Absolutely. just fantastic. Thank and you're going to crush these shows this weekend. Thank and, you. And I'll show you my toes later. Yes. So. And have a great time at the Multiball Theater. Thank you. Bah! Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's it. It's guys, great. we love you so much. This is great. Uh, and that is it. Come see everyone on the docket mm-hmm. on tour. Come see everybody. Come see everyone. Bye. Love you guys. <laughs>